Hello, everybody. I know. I know. Back by unpopular demand, we are here again with New Amsterdam. I know it's probably a drag. All of you probably hate it. No one ever wants to see it. But we're here anyway to annoy the piss out of you anyway. So, uh, where we last left off, because people are going to need a bit of a refresher. Uh, We had last left off. Omen was going to the good old days. And Daniel will not be here today. Sassy McNasty, the pretty prince. So, that's happening in the background. And it'll probably happen next session or something similar. Maybe we'll have a flashback. Who knows? Uh, meanwhile, we also had um, we also had uh, Cash um, just doing a whole bunch of stuff, offering dev space to various people, getting told off for it. You know, um, hot girl shit. Uh, hot girl shit. Let's see. Uh, we had uh, Connor and Payne Dexter, who were still hot on the trail of this uh of this um uh nicholas cage uh uh not tom cruise fucking wait yeah tom cruise right no john no. travolta john travolta i'm sorry john my travolta. brain yes travolta team that's right um still chasing that down and matter of fact connor actually sent a few people to the murder house with the hannibal lecter boy um cachette uh Cachette was what was Cachette doing? I don't remember off the top of my head. Rearming the uh, Megan, all right. Refitting and rearming. All right. And of course, we had Trinix, who we're actually going to start with today. Trinix, you have been you had an interesting day yesterday at work. Uh you were shown a department that is very clear you weren't supposed to be shown. Um, simply because Rainier wanted to, it looks like. You're not sure why. Um, and it's, it's the next day. He's, he's picking you up for work, you know? And what is, what does Trinix's morning routine look like anyway? Like whenever he's getting ready to go to work and all that good stuff, does he have breakfast? Is he, you know, dressing as he's on the way out the door? Does he wake up early, late? You know, that sort of shit. He's totally, uh, uh, uh. Everything has to be done correctly in an order fashion. So he's waking up massively earlier than he should, so that if anything goes awry during that morning routine, he's never late. So mm. he sits down and he does the routine. The clothes have been laid out the night before. He gets up, first takes a shower, goes eat, comes back, brushes his teeth, and then has a little chill sesh, looking over notes and stuff with everything that's learned. Maybe TV's on for a little background noise of, you know, medical crap or stuff that's happened recently, if there's something new medically to know. Um, and just takes that calm thing for 30 or so minutes and is like, okay. Yeah. Goes on, goes downstairs and be like, all right, where's my ride? Absolutely. And you see your ride as you would expect. Um, and Rainier is there, and he's doing something you've only seen him do one other time. He's smoking a cigarette um, as you uh, enter the vehicle. Uh, the other thing is, usually he's sitting in the back with you. He actually is up front in the driver's seat, and he actually asks for you to get in the passenger seat. All right. Well, long night. Uh he kind of looks at you and you know he's 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 put together pretty well today uh and he's like eh, something like that starts driving you know you're you're driving around and you kind of immediately notice that instead of taking um instead of taking uh the the primary road um we'll call that instead of taking liberty road which is uh, right by liberty square um you actually start taking a highway um going south uh and by going south you start to head towards canal belt south actually um so not not on the way to artis you know very out of the way uh, and he pulls up to the checkpoint holds up his id and you know white wolf guys wave him on and this place is uh a shadow of what it was when you were first in Canal Belt South. Canal Belt South 
had like some issues with gangs, but it was a big thriving community, right? Meanwhile, now this place feels like it feels locked down first and foremost. Uh, you see White Wolf on every corner. Um, and you also see that the people who normally would be walking around everywhere, they're not. There's basically no foot traffic. You see a couple cars. Most of them are White Wolf cars. and That's about it. Uh, there are uh, drones flying through the air uh, every which way, you know, crisscrossing almost more than AVs do. Uh, and uh, it's pretty clear that there is still a heavily militarized presence, though the active violence you saw during the war here, uh, the Red Eye War, uh, is not happening. It looks like uh, this is a defeated neighborhood, you know. Um, and as you're driving, you end up slowing down and getting to a spot that you kind of remember. Uh, go ahead and make me just a straight intelligence test. It's slipping your mind. Like, it feels really familiar, but you're not quite sure where exactly you are. I mean, you've been all around Canal Belt South being a doctor, so, you know, this could have been anything. And he kind of stops the car and starts smoking. Uh, or he takes another puff and he goes, so, um, that stuff that you saw yesterday, what's your take? What stuff? Yeah, I mean, the brain shit, the weird shit. I don't, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I... He goes, nah, trust me, this isn't a test. This is... And he, like, takes off his sunglasses and he looks at you. And you see that there is an intent in his eyes. And he goes, serious. What'd you think? Well... The fact that we can ma there's so much unknown about the brain, right? And 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 the fact that you know, I I, I figured there was people that were trying to un uncover the unused part of the brain, but I never knew how far anybody was into it. And that's a really good area to be studying it because there is so it's very fascinating to me and. Very cool. Yeah. Kind of says, so, happened to find some secondhand information a while ago. You were dealing with a, yeah, we'll call him a boogeyman of some sort. Kind of harried you guys, killed a couple of you, uh, gas mask full body suit I ring any bells for you a little bit and as you're as he's kind of questioning this you're actually starting it's starting to dawn on you where you are the intersection looks completely different but you remember not even a couple months ago cars hurling past you through the air in this intersection as the operator was hunting down you and uh, and uh, suzerain right it almost hit me and i was like oh whatever yeah he kind of says listen that problem has been neutralized pretty effectively and in a pretty interesting way. But, um, heard tell that you ran into some kid, maybe a little bit younger than you, when Suzerain was knocked down, walks up to this big bad boogeyman, tinfoil on his head, and he tells this boogeyman to get the fuck out of there. This ring a bell to you? And yeah, you've you've solidified this is the intersection. I don't remember who that dude was, but I remember yeah. Yeah, that was kinda cool. 
kind of goes, right. So here's the deal. I know what you're after. I know when you're why you're an artiste. And I know that you have no interest in continuing in this area specifically. I mean, whatever's going to get you progress, but that wasn't your intent going in. I know about Hank. I know about the whole shit. Now, I'm willing to help, but I need you to be willing to help me. That kid, well, he wasn't supposed to get out of it. Matter of fact, the reason the operator was out to play in the first place wasn't even having to do with you. Sort of. It was cleaning up some loose ends. But its main directive was to hunt down that little shit. Clearly, he fucked up. With the operator gone, I get to be the new high-tech toy. And I don't exactly want to be the high-tech toy. But I know these streets. And I'm good at talking to people. So I'm going to cut you a deal. Here's the deal. We know full brain mapping, 3D scanning, Engram creation. We know the whole shit. We can do that easy. I don't know shit about what the eggheads know how to do. But they presented me a couple options, such as uploading Hank's head as an Engram, and then trying to decode it from there, or even some live surgery with some adequate equipment and some fantastic bona fides sitting around with you while you're doing it. Or having someone else do it. You don't strike me as the type, though. Strike me as the type who wants to do it himself. I can hook all of that up. I can make all of that happen. But I need something from you. Okay? You keep your song and dance going, because the rest of Artis, there's maybe a handful of people who know what's actually going on, and you're never going to even come close to meeting them. Matter of fact, if you saw a loose pube from one of them on the floor in their own bathroom, that'd be surprising. They're ghosts. I'm the only one that they trust to actually do anything about this shit. You help me find this kid? Because I know you got resources. And I know you've seen him before. That's the closest we've got. You help me find him? You ain't got to worry about securing him. That's my job. I take care of that. You do that for me. And uh, your net runner extraordinaire there. Your uh, boss's uh, preem project. Yeah. He's back on his feet. Soon. I can't give you an actual time date. Not a fucking scientist. And he takes another puff, and he probably flicks the cigarette out the window. He goes, So, got any thoughts on that one? Uh, uh, yeah, millions. Um, so, I'm gonna be open, but yeah. Uh, yeah. But once I got in there, what what you guys do was really cool, and I kind of like learning. But yeah, yeah, that was the initial. Okay, um, I can't agree to do this a hundred percent myself because maybe I could. I don't. Know. She'll be he's like mad if, if I you... don't include her. Yeah, he's like, if you want to include anybody, the more the merrier. Though we got to make sure that opsec is good. Not a single soul that you don't trust gets to hear about this. Yeah. Because if this shit blows up in our face, want to know what's happening? We're we all, all end up in this. Yeah, we end up in the scream sheets because of carbon monoxide poisoning or some other such shit. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So, we'll put a pencil in for an answer for this is yes. As temporary agreement yes I will attempt to find it but I, I really gotta talk to Lucky about it because if, yeah he'll he'll nod he'll be like I understand it boss lady's got resources and as far as I know discretion very much so and hey they all hate you anyways maybe they'll hate you less Right? He kind of chuckles and goes, 
kid, if I gave a good goddamn about what a single person thought of me, I wouldn't be in this situation right now. I know, but they don't trust you at all, and I I, I don't know. You're kind of fun. The the last couple of weeks have been kind of entertaining, where they locked out all my access to my lab. It's kind of sad. Yeah. Kind of goes, yeah, I figured something like that would happen. You explain this situation, something tells me that, uh, well, I think that them not having the ace of the bald son of a bitch in your basement and no one knowing about it, I think once that ace is on the table, I don't think they're going to care if you go back down there. Especially if I'm the only one who's offering official help from someone who can actually do something. Yeah. Yeah. I I think we can make this work. She's a pretty understanding person. She's kind of nice. Yeah, and he, he kind of chuckles and goes, that is not the first word I would use to describe her, but you got an odd taste in people. And he starts the car oh, up. Nice to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm honestly she has. Uh, yeah. Uh he starts up the car and he starts driving you to work and he goes, Yeah, if anybody asks, I wanted to keep a low profile and there was an accident. Makes sense. Yeah. And then on your way to Artis, he drives down the main road opens the window, hucks a grenade out the window, and then you hear a boom as it goes off. He goes, that was the accident. And then he drives up to Artis. And we are going to cut from there. We're going to cut over to an interesting scene. We're going to cut to three people, four people, actually, in a room, right? The people in this room, five, sorry, I can't count. Uh, You've got, uh, you've got uh, Cachette, you've got Connor, you got Payne, and you've got, got, um, you got uh, Felix, right? And you got Lucky. Lucky's sitting there, kind of looks at all of you and goes, Okay, so, taking a look at the docket. Cachette, Felix. Well, Cachette, I've been waiting to see what you're worth. Do you have that ride set up with your, uh, with your, uh, suit at this point, getting you across the way? I have a warehouse for you to store it in. She's all loaded and ready for anything. Kind of goes, excellent. And she gives you an address to a warehouse says, you're going to store it there. No one's going to fuck with it. At least not now. You he too. and pulls out a, a physical agent mm-hmm. and puts it in as a note. She also pulls out her physical agent and probably checks something off. Then goes, all right, you two get out of my hair. I got to have words with Payne and Connor. Gives her a very, like, jerky salute. Yeah. And then leaves. And, yeah, and definitely, um, you know, Felix kind of looks at you and he doesn't really have a readable face right now as opposed to his normal bombastic self, but he seems at least a little determined. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. As he, uh, you know, he probably does a bump slap on his fucking vector or something uh, as a, I have, I have heard what you're saying and I'm making a dramatic exit. Yeah, and like, to him as their lady's like, uh, don't worry. I know that I, this goes away once the once the fire starts. Kind of, kind of um, looks at you and goes, "Yeah, well, hopefully we end up getting some uh, getting some heads." I actually found a little bit of info. You're a media. You're good at counting. Keep a count. It's very important for me. Kind of nods. And we'll cut back to you guys in a second. Payne and Connor, you're sitting in there. And Lucky is sitting behind her desk. And go ahead and make me a... uh, Go ahead and make me, like, a... a, What is it? Human awareness or whatever? Human Human perception. Human perception. Go ahead and make me a human perception. 
Okay. Nice. Just a sec. Got to find it. There it is. Absolutely. Nice. So both Connor and Payne, you both can tell she's got some intent, but she's kind of holding it back. She goes, Payne, Connor, from what I understand, this uh, chip that you're looking for, um, this whole situation looks like there might be some serious ads in it. I want you two to both run this down. Pay, of course, is yours, but if you find an opportunity for the pirates, we'd be more than happy to take that opportunity. Specifically, anything that has to do with Zenith, I want you to grab copies and bring it back to us. You bring it back, club can afford to pay you 5,000 eddies for each piece of valuable information. Each. Well, you answered my next question. I yeah. like it. Yeah, I think you answered all mine. Okay. Payne, if you want to go get the start, uh, if you want to go get whatever car you've got started up, I got to have a couple words with, uh, with, um, uh, sorry, uh, with Connor. She okay. did not stumble. <laughs> That's cool. And he goes. Yeah. And um, once the door is closed, she kind of looks at you. She's got, she's got that look in her eye, that very sharkish look. You know what I mean? Kind of says, Connor. As someone who's um, outside of the organization, I feel like you might be one of the only people I can directly trust with this. You're going to be busy, and you're going to be handling your standard solo operations. However, we have an interesting scenario happening with our net running division. I'm not saying to do anything, but eyes and ears would be most appreciated. Anything in particular I be looking for? Kinda says Well, those net runners that she hired, keep an eye on them, make sure that they don't do anything sketchy. Not that she's not capable. Just not vetted to my standard yet. As for cash she might have her fingers in a few pies. If she needs some of those fingers unstuck, if it's easy, take care of it. If it's not, send it to me. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Too, too many fingers and too many pies. Just not a good combination it is. He kind of says, net runners, what are you going to do? And uh, she kind of looks at you and kind of says, I've got some business. I got I got some biz I got to take care of. I appreciate you uh, sitting in. Hey, I got nothing better. To, I can sit here. I can sit at the bar. So why not sit here? Yeah. And, um, you know, she kind of motions for you to head out. And um, I'm assuming Connor heads out, though I can't really assume much about Connor. <laughs> No, he, he respects her, so yeah. he will head out. And uh, as uh, the door is closing, you could swear that you hear Lucky pick up the phone and say something in, like, a completely different language. And yeah. So we're going to get back to Payne, Dexter, and Connor here in a second. And we're going to go Just say what? Curiosity, is it Dutch or Polish? Uh, out of curiosity, it's neither. So it wouldn't be Gaelic either, would it? No. In fact, Italian. this is a language that you probably didn't think Lucky knows. Uh, okay. It appears that she was speaking Japanese. Oh. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, right, write that one down. No. <laughs> exactly. um, but yeah, as you're doing that, we're going to cut over to Cash. Cash! Yes. Basement gang is all here, um, yes. as you would expect, working on the dev. Um, or working on the uh, Pirate Bay. Um, right. You've got uh, probably one of uh, Shamaya's uh, netrunners is already kind of playing around in the area, kind of finding and defining parameters, assuming that you okayed it, because you did promise. Mm, I don't think I would have them there right now. Not right now? Like, okay. 
No, not yet. Not yet. I want time to really work out my own parameters so that we can come to a place where it's not, oh, you just show up and take over. You know, I don't want that to happen. Absolutely. So, so yeah, I'd like to wait on that one. I feel you. Probably at this point, you know, no one knows, no one uh, that um, is on your crew knows about Jezebel yet. Um, but probably right. as you're kind of doing this, um, you know, uh, ah, fuck, what was her name? Um, I got to pull up my notes. My for me, no. Twitch. Twitch. Switch? Wait, switch. Yes, yeah, switch. Yeah. Um, as you're kind of looking, switch is like, Ah, uh, you have one Nova demon sitting in the back here doing a lot of back end stuff. Impressive. You read it yourself? I did. Kind of, kind of looks you up and down. And actually, do you want to give me a bluff of some sort? What kind of bluff would I give you? Uh, have a... It would be, we're going to say. Ah. Uh... Persuasion and fast talk? Or? Yes, persuasion and fast talk. There you go. Okay. Yeah. She seems to believe you. And mm-hmm. um, she kind of goes, eh, well, remind me next time I'm writing something, I'll have to come to you. Kind of. For sure. Yeah. And while she's kind of almost grilling you about it, you hear Crumb Kenny, God ah, shit! And like, there's a big fucking clang. And uh, he kind of rolls out on a, on a dolly. What do they what do they call those things that you put under cars? Um, That's a, basically, I can't remember what it's yeah, called. There's there's an actual fun name for them, but I don't. Remember. Yeah. Um, yeah. He rolls out on one of those, and he goes, "God, fuck!" And you see that his head is bleeding from like a small scratch. He's like, "Oh God." He's like, "Yeah, your whole fucking system. I mean, you bought some prime equipment, but God." Damn, the gonk who fucking set all this shit up. I mean, seriously, this is some scop in here. A and he like pulls creeper. out a Yes. And right. he he pulls Didn't out I set all of that up. Not the internals of the actual okay. shit. And he pulls out okay. a schematic and he like shows you some genuinely like make me a computer the the building a computer check, you know the one. Uh Cybertech? Uh I don't know if it was Cybertech. Basic tech? It would have been... Cyberdeck Design. Cyberdeck Design. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, He is showing you what is... Yes, this is pretty poorly routed, actually. Um, Yeah. And he's going through... And, like, you probably set this up default and we're like, all right, we'll deal with that later. That's, like, a tomorrow problem. Besides, it looks too complicated to knock out in an afternoon. I'm going to need to actually dedicate some people and time to making this look fine. Uh, yeah. And he's like very clearly just like outlining a bunch of really unconventional, but like, huh, I guess that would work. That's, man, it probably would make it easier to change out, you know? And he's like, yeah, yeah I fucking switched the main right here. I took my A and B lines and I ran them here. Your entire net dev line is going this way. And I decided to split it like four ways and I've got a splitter for it. We probably need a new one because this one's pretty old, but like, yeah, I know. I don't know what that fucking person was thinking. Setting the, I mean, stock? Who sells some shit stock at a night market? That's some bullshit. I mean, you know, we got a really solid deal for it. Listen, you sound like you've got a handle on it. So I'm just going to put this in your very capable hands. That's a very interesting way to do things. And I am down to see you succeed. Yeah, and he kind of looks around for a second. And then he looks at himself and he goes, wait, you, I'm, a, I'm a, uh, you're having me in charge of this thing? Like to fix the... Mm-hmm. No, yeah, no, no, I, no, I, 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 I can totally do that. I can. Can you? I'm not gonna let you down. I, uh, I'll, I'll get a, I'll, fuck. Do you like write down lists or shit? Yeah, I'm why gonna write down a list. Take, hold on. Why don't you just like take a breath, and let's just clear our brains and prioritize where you want to start, and then just work your way down from there. It's like, I'm gonna need gear i'll write down the gear that i need i uh, okay. think that's the right first step probably you want to make sure you have all your shit in place i mean i'm trying to do a bypass with 600 volts that shit's gonna fry me if i don't have the right shit right sure for sure yeah give me a list don't yeah. make it too crazy he's like okay can i wait um can i put uh like a a, a personal item or two on uh the list 
Depends on the item and the price. Uh, we don't have a microwave down here, and it'd be cool to have a mini fridge, too. I can buy a microwave and a mini fridge, yes. <laughs> He's like, okay, cool, sick. I'm going to go write down that list, and those are going to be okay. on there. You said it was okay. You said it was okay, so I'm going to put it on the list. Okay, put it on the fucking list. Hey, Kenny, calm the fuck down. It's going to be fine. You got this. He's like, I got this. And then he, like, turns around and trips over something and face plants, probably. God, I, like, feel it in my soul, though. Can I just be real? Like, I am Kenny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, Kenny Kenny is a special breed of an interesting person. He's a little bit dumber than you are, but he's got that idiot savant thing going on. He does. He's um, brilliant in his own way. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, you've got um, probably your... Uh, Probably the person who it doesn't seem seems like you're almost the least interested in this person usually, um, right. but you've got uh, Requiem, uh, and he's kind of on a just seems solid. He is. I mean, you see him in the back, and uh, he's got three monitors going. Um, mm -hmm. His um, on one monitor, he's got uh, like what appears to be a big code string of. Looks like he's, you know, uh, troubleshooting some, like, rough edges in the system. The next monitor appears to be him fucking around in some system that you don't even know, like, what this system is. It's not one of your guys's. And then the third the third window is Snake. Like, he's just playing right. Snake. And, right. uh... I'm, I want to ask him about that. Like, you you look like you're doing great, but what is this? Oh, uh, Snake. It was a game that came out... No, 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 no. Don't be stupid. Because <laughs> I'm not stupid. Let's try again. What is this? He's like, oh, well, uh, see, here's the thing. On the block on this street, there's some unsecured uh, access nodes. And uh, I am uh, not very comfortable not having control over those access nodes because they are, in fact, system weaknesses towards this server. So while I'm fixing those, I figured I would have a poke around in some of the local businesses some interesting information for you okay uh listen this whole thing is built on trust and if you don't want to get your head blown off and also my head blown off and your co-workers heads blown off and everyone in this building's fucking heads blown off i need you to do less of that also what kind of information did you find out he's like First thing, I don't think the guy who sells soy calf and scop dogs down the street is going to blow your head off. And you second of all, that. and he's like, and second of all, I found out that he's having an extramarital affair and is producing, uh, and has been producing, um, oh fuck, what's the drug? And he's been producing dwarf in his basement, which is really is dangerous. Uh, it is a military grade endorphin booster, okay. which is absurd that he would be making that. It's that's like that's some like you just don't have the equipment typically to do that, right? Well, that's interesting. Does he have any buyers on a list? Uh, well, no buyers except for well, he says that it's mostly supplier shit. It looks like, uh, mm -hmm. seems that he's supplying. If I had to guess, I haven't been poking around in too many of these, but if I if I had to guess. I'd bet the ads run back to some sort of river rat. Okay. Um, I love your initiative. I need you to do less of that. I need you to focus on like this stuff. Um, I don't know how that's going to benefit us in the moment. It's great information to have in our back pocket. But right now, I have priorities that i yeah. need you to attend to so don't get me wrong cool awesome yeah. love it did not expect everyone to be on the up and up 100 percent. however if what you're saying is what i think you're saying i need you to be a little more cautious this time yeah and he kind of goes caution's my middle name if i is wasn't it? cautious i would have been caught by monsanto by now but didn't you get caught and, like, go to prison? Wasn't that, like, a whole thing? Uh, you might be remembering that wrong. He did not go to prison. He be. did flee and escape. He freed a bunch of people who were imprisoned by Monsanto. Uh, That's Morris. right. 
Okay, so maybe I don't say that part then. I'm yeah, sorry. He, I got that confused. He, no, you're good. You're good. Um, he probably says, plus, don't worry about it. Code, preem. Ice, preem. The only thing that they're going to find is it seems that someone on a data term up, or that someone on a data term street side, matter of fact, the one right by the monorail, they're just going to think that someone was accessing it through that, some sort of tech junkie or something. Meanwhile, and he transfers 500 euro dollars to your account, says, not a lot, but you'd be amazed what people leave behind and let, let, let lie derelict for years. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Go ahead and add 500 eddies, by the way. I mean, I will. Do I need it? No. But does he know that? No. <laughs> yeah. He's doing it as a sign of like, yeah, I've just been poking around and it's not. And looking at his screen, he does have some airtight shit going on. It looks like he's poking. So imagine a city block is full of thousands of access points, right? Mm -hmm. Looks like he's going around each of those access points and just seeing what's on them. And if there's ice yeah. that's thin enough, he just breaks it. Like, we're talking like, oh, I come with Windows Defender. And he's like, oh, ha -ha. yeah, you don't exist anymore. I'm just looking around in your stuff. Don't mind me. I mean, I'm not against it, but yeah. that's not like main priority. No, of course. Right and and what he's doing right now on the other monitor is compiling. So it's mm -hmm. like, he's not necessarily wasting time, but he is certainly splitting his attention, you know? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so, you know, this is this is good information to have, and I appreciate that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I guess if we start up a marketplace, maybe somebody will want to buy some dwarf. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Now that he I'm going to sell it. He goes, he goes, don't worry. There's a lot of other information. Nothing consequential, mostly shit like this. You know, I figure if you need a blackmail ring or something, this is about about as good as you can get for terrorizing your local neighbors. Yeah, I really don't want to terrorize my neighbors, but if you do, ooh, maybe we could talk about terrorizing other people outside of our immediate vicinity one day, just not today. Not, yeah. not today. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, you got a yeah. boss, kind of turns around and hits, uh, <laughs> hits like Alt F4 and two of his monitors, the one with Snake and the one with all the fucking around with people's ass access nodes turn off and then they mm -hmm. like turn on and there's like a cat screensaver where it's like chasing a ball of yarn on a black background all right i mean do you have to sit here and watch it compile you don't i don't know he's like do you want to help not... kenny he's like do i want to help kenny and then he yeah. looks at kenny who is like fervorously writing on a list and then he like looks at you and he goes do I have to help Kenny? Do you have, I, you know, probably not. Okay. Do you have anything that you need me to pick up from the store? He's like, not that I can think of. I'm pretty set over here. Probably okay. switch at this point. Hollers like uh, switch at this hollers. Can we get a ball gag for Kenny? No, wait, he might like that. And Kenny like looks up and goes, what? I heard my name. Oh my god. <laughs> you have a dysfunctional oh little family down here. I do. What the fuck? Oh god. I'm going to Has it really over. finally dawned on you that you have responsibility to these people now and you like them? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like them. I'm still real sketched out by Switch. I might fucking blow her brains out. I don't know yet. We'll Valid. see right like honestly like she's always like i wonder if that's how lucky feels about me like always just a <laughs> hair's breadth away from like bang you know so uh i i can speak uh for gunner because we've had many long conversations um and yeah. i think the answer you're looking for is yes yes <laughs> yes good uh, okay uh, um i mean that's that's fair this is my karma and i'm living with it so her name's switch right not yeah. twitch it's switch switch so I'm going like to switch. Switch. <laughs> right. look over at Switch and go, uh, that's not exactly the store I'm going to right now. Do you need like computer parts or frozen burritos or I don't know, Eggos? Yeah, she's like, uh, she's like, um, and this will probably strike you as an unusual thing. She's like, uh, kibble, cheese flavor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No one voluntarily fucking eats kibble. 
Like, right. That's weird. I mean, like, yeah. you know, we have like a gourmet kitchen. If you guys are really interested in something that's not kibble, you could just go over there. And he's like, yeah, I just kind of wanted the microwave to make popcorn. I go up there to get a burger at least once every two hours. Every two hours. Kenny, what are you doing? And he's like so thin. And you can tell okay. that like that like this is for sure like the truth that he's telling. Because there is ketchup and or mustard on his shirt. And oil and dust and mm -hmm. uh, all sorts of shit. He's been working and he's been eating. You're pretty sure yeah. he also probably doesn't wash his hands before he eats those burgers. He doesn't wash his hands after he uses the bathroom either, I bet. Oh, God. Only, okay. only if he goes number one. It's not like he pees on his hands. Oh, my God. I hate that so much. That's the worst thing. <laughs> wash your fucking hands. Uh, fuck. <laughs> we here at Paradise Theater encourage you to wash your hands even if you only went number one. Because, yes, you digits. might have peed on your hands. And there's bacteria on your pembis. You did. You did pee on your hands. Okay. So speaking of phones are grosser than a toilet. Facts. Ew. So and you touch that shit all the time. Okay. Um great. Uh, Super. Rowan. Uh, Rowan. Oh no. He licked his phone. I no! didn't actually <laughs> lick it. I just held it like okay. this and went. <laughs> Ugh. Dollar, dollar bills are grosser than phones. That's dollar, true. Dollar bills get you but that sometimes cocaine, if yo. you get a $20 bill and you lick it, you might get a little bit of a funny heart thing going on. No, that's the $100 bill. Uh, you don't you don't live in Kansas. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyone seen a fucking $100 bill in the last like 20 years? I haven't. I have. Um, it but depends also, on the day. We're... We're in Kansas. Even if cocaine is a rich person's drug, poor people do it all the time. <laughs> so many it's people true. in Scotland offered me cocaine. <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you do they it? Love Just it. kidding. No, Don't answer that. No. I ain't hey. getting hooked on something expensive. Hey, I'm no. gonna I'm gonna balance out everything that this conversation is in the question of is this Twitch appropriate? And the answer is we here at Paradise Theater don't encourage you to use drugs. However, me, Mira Shade very much encourages you to use drugs. Drugs are cool. Only drugs are cool, cool in moderation, cool. and they should all be legalized and then regulated. That's the thing. Like, Hell fuck, yeah. We need a regulation. Okay. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Um, great. How's the setup going on? Just, I don't know. We had that. We had that big proposal. They don't know about that yet, and that's okay. Yeah. And I don't know how much of that I want to share with them. Oh. But I should tell them, uh, guys, I need you to uh, set aside a little space, probably a little desk space, probably a, a, a terminal, because um, it's very possible we're going to be having a guest, because uh, I've, 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 I've made some deals so that we can get some funding and we can jump off the ground. Um, and uh, whoever happens to come in, they need access, but not total access, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm going to look over at Switch. He goes, she goes, guest access, no admin privileges, term probably sets up a uh, deceptive amount of space. Something easy like, uh, I don't know, trying to fool someone that they're getting 100% of the space when they're only getting about 10, 15. Yeah. And then imagine you are trying to do this to yourself because these people are going to be very good at what they do. Good. We got pros. You got real cowboys coming in and kind of yeah, like looks at everyone else in the room as if they are not a real cowboy. Right, right. I'm like, we're all cowboys. What are you talking about? This one has just also shot a lot of people. So, you know, don't, don't be stupid around this person at least and i'm gonna look over at kenny and go you know don't say anything um oh no they whenever, can get you in trouble oh whenever my mom has her her guy friends over she always makes me stay in the bathroom uh so i'm good i can just stay in the bathroom over there no no because i need you to work <laughs> i could set up a. Uh, uh, he's like in his 30s um he's like i could set up a term in the bathroom I don't know, would Lucky be okay with that? 
I don't think that's a great idea. Uh, you know what? We'll just work it out. You know, I'll wash I, I my think, hands. I think. Oh God, you should do that anyway. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, it would be best to like don't speak unless spoken to, and if you if you feel like what you're about to say is going to get us all killed, maybe consider don't say that. Right. I got an idea. Okay, so mm -hmm. I can move my head. And I can grab some some orange blankets, and I'm a monk that like took a vow of silence, but I'm a wizard with computers. You know what? That's great. That's great. That's super. That's okay. Super. I'll get on that. We'll just add it to the list. Orange <laughs> blankets. Great. Yeah, that's awesome. And I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna look over at Switch and be like, can you can you be on top of this while I'm out? Like, I don't know, just, you know, yeah. Yeah, she, she gives you the kind of the head flick up, you know? Yeah. Like she, she knows yeah. what's up, she'll take care of it. Thank you, thank you. Um, I don't know when they're coming. I just know that they are going to be here and most likely will come unannounced. So the sooner the better uh, would be ideal. And uh don't talk shit about the vices. And I'm just going to walk out. <laughs> I just. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's good. Um, yeah. yeah. You walk out and we're going to cut over to Cachette and Felix. I will oh, have snatched yeah. up his like list. Like probably yeah. while he's still writing, I'll just be like, this enough. Mm. And just fucking. <laughs> yeah. And there's like three different things. or There's like four or five things on there that you just like don't. Need. Uh, but his list is going to come out to like 20,000 eddies, which is, I mean, to format an entire server, not a terrible deal. Plus, you yeah. have the money. Right. No, I do. I just don't like spending money. Honestly, this is where like I real know. life Amy is having a problem because I'm like, uh -huh. I just want to save it forever. Uh, yeah. I want to buy a But you got that server. money specifically to do this. <laughs> I know. I know I did. Um, I, I would also like to buy a second server. Um, if I can get it about the same size, that'd be great. About the same size. How much did we have you pay for that first server? Let me look at my notes. I don't remember. Shit. I don't know where my notes are on that. Uh, we're going to call that server another 20K. Okay. Um, yeah. Just to get that set up. Uh, it's going to take a while to get that server up and running because you yeah. have to get your first one up and running before you can yeah. really bootstrap another thing in. Um, yeah, for sure. But most of it is like power routing issues and that sort of thing. You're essentially mm -hmm. setting up a, the mother of all runner closets. You know what I mean? Right. right. Um, that's what a server ends up being. Uh, the other question yeah. is, uh, there is one thing that Crumb Kenny puts on the list that actually seems like a good idea he recommends a dweller chair now a dweller is a net runner who stays within the system and watches the system right it's separate mm -hmm. from someone who's in like a running chair dweller chairs are meant for shifts right so instead of mm -hmm. like where a runner chair that could be pretty easy to get get a, get your hands on and then you're like in and out you wake up a little stiff and sore but you were only in there for 30 minutes to an hour a runner chair is meant mm -hmm. for someone to be in for 10 12 15 hours you know um and it's also mm -hmm. pretty a pretty good idea to have a dweller for a server if anyone attacks right. the server it's direct line in access right mm -hmm. and then on top of that line in access you also have uh, all of the admin tools right there. And the chair is physically set up to where it has enough RAM to handle just about anything you need to do. You know, enough okay. onboard like computational power. Here's okay. the problem. Your baseline runner or your baseline dweller chair, that's going to be about 150K. You got room for it, but it's expensive. It's a wise decision but it's expensive. Mm -hmm. Writes down okay. 150k for runner ch for uh, dweller <laughs> chair. I love that. <laughs> I love just seeing you like, god damn it, and then writes down another 150. 
This is what it's like with uh, Gunner whenever we're planning out upgrades for the club. Is it's just like, all right, this is how much this is gonna cost. And he goes, motherfucker. All right, let me just <laughs> move some money around here. Like, <laughs> I mean, um, maybe I could get it a little cheaper. Also, I'm concerned about that because I'm going to be having Jezebel in the server, and I kind of anticipated everybody being out, and she would just be available. So the dweller chair will probably be a a good thing to have during regular hours but yeah. in the evenings i'm just going to be like i will handle it in the evenings it's fine. sure you just essentially so. imply that you're going to be dwelling in the evenings because right. yeah a dweller right. chair is something that like some like some motherfuckers in op for instance like dwell mm -hmm. for life and they might sit in the same chair for three years straight you know what i mean that is not yeah. the norm but that's kind of the degree of like what a dweller is supposed to do. Is they're supposed to be like a watchdog, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, and right. it's really hard to replace demon or replace dwellers with demons, mm -hmm. which Jezebel's a different story. Jezebel's a fucking AI. Like we right. we have it on the table. Jezebel's an AI. We know. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. With with Jezebel being an AI, she could dwell easily, right? But demons mm -hmm. are just too strict in their programming. A good a good net runner could poke around past that shit. You know what I mean? Right. <clears throat> right. Um, let me look at my money. Okay. That's I'm I'm good. I'm just gonna stare at you can start yeah. doing math. Um okay. <laughs> and while you're doing math, we are gonna cut over to Cachette. So Cachette, um, I'm assuming you have used the van to bring your suit to the meet point, right? Right. Okay. You bring your suit there, and while you're doing that, um, you know, Felix is casually sitting there, and he's going over and over and over his weapons. You can tell he's kept these in preem condition. Uh, he's been really solid about cleaning everything, oiling everything. Almost, uh, there is no such thing as too clean of a gun, probably. But also, you know, it feels a little excessive. It's just doing. And driving there quiet for the most part, maybe says something after a while, like, I hope you didn't open up and get into the barrel. You're never going to get dirt out of there. Or not the, not the barrel, the, the, uh, the action. Yeah. And he probably goes, uh, yeah, I'll leave that for the pros. As he like continues to fuck around with his vectors, which they're silenced, right? Yes. Probably at this point, he takes off one of the silencers and looks through it at the uh, at the perforation, and then you know puts it back in. You know. Mm hmm. I don't know if he would say a whole lot. Like. Yeah. It's and... a very awkward silence. Yeah, and uh, Felix, while you're doing this, you actually get a buzz on your agent. Yeah, and he pulls it out. He's wearing loose enough pants, pulls it out, one hand still on the steering wheel, f keeping very focused on the road. Yeah. But probably even just shoots it on speaker, so it's easier to hold. Oh, it's a, it's a text. Oh, a text. He yeah. Probably hands it over to Felix and is like, I'd rather not get us killed. I'm not good at driving. Well, cars anyway. He looks at your phone, and the, or he looks at your agent, and then he looks at you, and then he looks at your agent, and then he goes, I sent you that. Well, what did you send? You could just... Yeah. He's like, well, just so you have written record, I've got patrols. The patrol. I know where they're going to be when. Good. Perfect. Are you coming with on the boat? Kind of nods and goes, wouldn't be anywhere else. This is going to get ugly. And I'm talking war ugly. R slash real combat footage shit. <laughs> he, he probably looks at you, which honestly, that'd be cool if you just said that because that feels real. That's you know? exactly what he said. Yeah. And that is a yeah. real Reddit. Yeah. And, um, probably looks at you with this dead look on his face and he goes good i hope it does and he probably brushes his hair out of his face you know checks his guns one more time 
kind of uh, checks his mag, taps it on his knee, then puts it back in, racks it, and goes, well, I'm ready, finally. And you can tell, Felix is not dressed in the way that you have assumed that he was, because you probably, I don't know if you've looked at Felix's work before, but everyone knows Felix's work at this point in the club. Mm -hmm. He's kind of club famous in the sense that, you know, he was always flouncing around and always in these like super scantily clad outfits and like fucking um, super bubbly personality, interviewing people, all that shit. You're looking at someone who's sitting in obviously tactical gear, blacked out tactical gear. Um, he's got a helmet on um, and uh, he's wearing sunglasses that are in vogue, but also they're more on the tactical side. There's still some like leftovers from this like obviously superfluous sort of um outfit sort of thing the kind of flamboyant shit that he was kind of doing but most of it is like straight up yeah. combat gear and there's actually a quiet moment before Cachette takes a deep breath and maybe is pulling up to the place uh tosses off his jacket he's just wearing a sleeveless underneath so yeah. it's just that and some like cargo pants and he's like just don't let them kill the part of you that can't come back from a fight. Yeah, and probably before you can even say anything, or he can even say anything, you see uh, Anastovia uh, standing there by a trawler, just her. Um, and as you approach, she's, she's set like a watch, you know. Like, she's got the black leather jacket and the black tack pants and the black sunglasses. You know, her and Felix would make an interesting pair on the cover of a cyberpunk novel. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, you know, Felix kind of hops out and she says, excellent. It's good that you're finally here. Or not finally, she wouldn't say that. She's like, excellent. Glad that you're here. Trawler behind me and she points to this old shit tub, you know. Not yeah. pretty. It'll get us across whatever landing you're wanting. I have a few suggested ones, though. And Cachette is opening the back, and he disappears in there for a while, and then there's this clunking and cranking and whirring, and the whole back of the truck probably leans down as this massive, looks like power armor straight out of Fallout thing, steps one foot off of the other out of it, and is like, flexing its fingers and making sure everything's working trouncing over yeah decked and, out and as you do that you see that felix has pulled out his agent and he's like pointing towards a spot she goes i can do that heavy traffic but you're about the right amount of time should be off patrol for the next 20 minutes goes you can make the trawl in 20 she goes Absolutely. This thing, like I said, it looks bad, but it'll get us there. Kind of looks over at Cachette and goes, and seeing this in living, breathing fashion truly is impressive. All I do is impressive. <laughs> yeah, she has a slight smirk. Goes, all right, load up. You're putting the suit below deck. With where, we're, with where we're landing, I'd recommend that you end up uh, keeping that suit on in case shit gets hasty. Yeah, he nods and is like, worse comes to worse, she's pressure sealed up to 30 meters. Kind of nods and kind of nods and goes, well, we should be out of the center of the river by then. And, uh, you know, um, probably... Probably at this point, uh, has you guys load onto the tub, and uh, yeah, she starts uh, she starts piloting you across. Now we're gonna say that this starts in the afternoon when you guys are leaving. That's when you mm -hmm. have the meetup time set, and uh, you're gonna get there like right as the sun is beginning to set. And uh, you know, uh, yeah. the the boat ride is choppy, kind of shitty. Uh, you know, um, very, very seasicky if you get seasick. And Felix also gets a probably a text on his agent, and it's just like a, a like a, audio link uplink 
and it just yeah. it's from Keshet, and it says camo camo link number keep it you know keep it online or keep connected right Basically so you're thinking uplink of for his uh camo uplink yeah 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 absolutely yeah he'll he'll sync comms easy peasy um but yeah like this this boat ride sucks it's not fun this is obviously a shit trawler though looking down here the engine looks a lot more impressive than you would expect for this rust bucket um probably intentionally um but yeah, you you uh, find your way across the chop of the uh, of the Amstel River, um, and uh, you know you uh, beach up and you get a you get a read from Anastovia, which is essentially like um, essentially her call out is uh, all right, no lo or all right, I'm not going to uh, take you any further. You're up on the shorehead, and he comes back on deck. And is there like a drop off from the deck to the shore? Um, yeah, I, I think so. Because so you, you're getting up to a key wall, right? Yeah. So, you know, you're you're basically docked up. So, yeah, hops down, and there's the big crash as this thing hits the ground, and then rewrites itself up to, onto its legs. Yeah. And uh, as that happens, you Maybe see Felix... Maybe even looks over and, like, offers out its arm to help Felix down. Oh, and Felix, like, deftly, like, you can tell this, this, this kid is nimble, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He hops down, uh, and almost with, like, a ballet flourish, kind of lands on a pointed toe and then kind of rocks back onto his heel, you know? And, uh, it's, the sun is kind of setting at this point. Mm -hmm. Anastovia looks at you and goes, you have a place to take it? And he'll... So it's still light out. Yeah. So it just looks over and points in a direction. Mm -hmm. Probably towards like an alleyway along the road that these guys are going to come down. Oh, she means uh, storage. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which you do, yeah. Yeah, in that case, he point in a different direction. Yeah. <laughs> Warehouse. Kind of nods and goes, right? Well... Happy hunting. Don't get killed. And yeah, she'll start the trawler back up and start heading across, leaving just you and Felix. Felix says, sun's going to be fully down and their patrol is going to be through here in 20. Should be heading through at that alleyway right there. Got a main guy. Calls himself Hans. Don't know if that's his real name or just some stupid Nazi shit. If I could have him, I'd appreciate it. Pick him out quick. This thing's not known for being precise. Kinda nods, and, like goes, um, well, sounds good to me. Figure we can post up over there and points towards the alley that you were going to point towards. <laughs> Was thinking just that. Yeah. And you guys sit there and wait. You know, Felix has a cigarette or two while he waits, you know. And this um, thing this is, is, like, hunched down, like, on its, like, hunched half in a fetal position, just waiting. Yeah. Yeah. And as you're kind of doing this, you know, um, you know, Felix is probably doing the shit of, like, very boredly flicking through his feed on, like, some shit, you know. Uh, and uh, finally... You hear a, um, you hear a, uh, like a, a sound of some people coming towards. Felix pauses and, you know, grabs his phone and turns off his agent, sticks it in his pocket. You start hearing some people talking and just, you know, like, just basic rabble. And you look out and you see a gang of maybe 15, 20 guys walking out. A couple of them have guns. Most of them have just, like, bludgeons of some sort, pipes and knives and shit. Uh, and Felix kind of looks at you and goes, if I can do the honors. The suit and doesn't do anything. Kind of walks out and goes, oh, boys. Boys. And, like, one of them kind of pauses and goes, what the fuck? Goes, boys, do you remember me? And, like, 
probably one of them squints and looks and goes, Oh. Huh. Looks like that degenerate came back. What? You want another fucking beating? He goes, Eh. I don't know. Kind of fun last time. But, um, I think I decided to level the playing field. And he kind of motions with his hand towards you. And this thing has always moved like a clunky, ugly industrial machine. Yeah. And maybe even Felix is surprised as this thing skids out of the alleyway with jets on mm -hmm. its back and feet yeah. going. It is moving like a mobile suit. Oh, as yeah. As it skids to a halt, arm comes out, a Gatling gun pops out. And it points at all of them. And you just hear a... Shalom. And you hear... All of them pause and, like, freeze. And... One of them's like... You fucking shoot it! And, like, fucking some dude comes forward with a pistol and, like, wings a couple rounds. And they hit your chest and just bounce right fucking off. And, like, he, he empties the magazine... Like, you hear click, 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 and he's like, fuck, fuck, I, shit, did that do anything? He's like, no, it didn't fucking do anything, you idiot. Kind of, like, fucking hits him. And he goes, all right, you got a cool toy. What do you want with us, then? Which one of you is Hans? All of them look at one guy who kind of steps out. He's got all the fucking patches. He's got the fucking... Uh, the the body armor on the front, like a Kevlar vest, and a smirk that you just cannot wipe off his face. He kind of says, Was that me? You have, um, uh, how you say, uh, issue? Um, your friend had issue last time, and we had to deal with said issue, so... Oh, no, 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 my friend. You misunderstand. I have no issue. This is just... Practice. I need to see if all of this works. And he probably looks and, uh, probably at this point, Felix shoots him in the kneecap and he fucking, oh, and, like drops onto the ground. Right as he falls, just <clears throat> across yeah. the other 14. Yeah. So let's see how well that works. Let's see it. Uh, okay, there it is. Extra modifiers. And maybe we get to see, uh, well, 1760 fired hit. Yeah. Um, and we see, like, from the point of view of the Meganaw, it's mm. just like a, a heads-up display it's pinpointed all 14 of them with little red marks that, set, that have, like, enemy. It has the exact telemetry of where they are in relation to the Meganaw. A line goes across it. The arm follows it. And it's just gore and mist. Oh, yeah. No, and, like, you're getting, like, you're not just putting holes in these guys. Bone fragments are launching themselves into brick walls and stay. Like, this street's gutter is starting to clog. As you just take out this gang of just asshole white supremacists, right? You just, like, lay into them. And, like, as this fire goes above Hans here, he, like, grabs his head and he's like freaking out and you can see the little right the little like red light in his eye just starting to beep you know mm -hmm. um as uh he's obviously calling in force reinforcements just like what the fuck what the fuck actually he drops the german accent he's like what the <laughs> fuck oh fuck. holy shit what are you oh jeez what are you doing what do you want like call more call all of them I want more! And, yeah, probably at this point, Felix walks forward. He goes, and you're gonna get to sit here, and you're gonna fucking watch. And, like, drags him by the shoulders as he's, like, trying to grab his arm. He, like, tries to fight back, and Felix just fucking 
like rifle butts him in the nose, causing a nosebleed, and thunks him up against the uh, against the uh, the uh, dumpster. And he goes, uh, "Now, if I see another red blink from your eye, indicating you're sending another message, you're not going to have eyes." or a nose, or a chin, or teeth, or really anything they can identify your body with. You know, um, I'm really going to fucking end you, and it's going to feel great. But we want to have some fun first, asshole. And, like, he's just sitting there with a gun under his head. And, like, while well, Felix is, like, sadistically, like, fucking laying into this guy, you hear a truck, and it's like, you probably think to yourself, good timing, 30 seconds flat, you know? Um, as you know, like, uh, you hear a truck kind of coming around the corner and, uh, you know, it kind of stops in front of the alleyway, like facing the side. And like, you've got guys who've got assault rifles, and shotguns that are like starting to get out of this vehicle. Oh, and this thing turns and there's that heavy ka-chunk, ka-chunk. Yeah. As it turns and looks towards all of them. And oh, it takes and, a knee. And as you're taking this knee, I just want to see, this is the wrong kind of goon. It's going to say new human bastard. Mm -hmm. uh, they are not new human. Uh, they are, in fact, United Front. However, I want to see how much damage you end up taking. Um, if you take any. So they're going to fire their M16s. Full auto. No aim range close, aiming at torso, uh, and we're even going to give them... No, that'll be it. Let's see how it goes. So... Nope, none of those of go through fire. the armor. None of those go through the armor. So you're taking a hail of bullets yeah, just as boom, these boom, fucking... Boom. Yeah, they're all like whizzing off. Five, five, six rounds, bouncing off as if they were made of rubber. For and you take a knee. the armor's 30. Yep. And you take a knee. And it reaches up, grabs onto what looks like a long barrel coming off one of the shoulder, hefts it up over the shoulder, locks uh -huh. it in on that, uh, on the truck. Yeah. And there's just a little quiet chuckle for here. Boom. And let's see how the 37 millimeter anti-tank gun goes. Uh, ba ba ba. Get the modifier from my heads up. Semi auto close. No aiming. <laughs> I mean, that's 31 points of armor that's piercing to... damage to the truck. Yeah. No, that's enough to blow the fucking truck up. It's not like it's a technical. <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe you fucking. How yeah, it looks go ahead. Is like... it, the reason he took the knee is it braced the suit as this. 37 millimeter fires even moves the torso and we get a shot as it hits one guy in like the chest and we get that anime thing where like there's the hole and then the wind from the impact hits and he just is separated in two mm -hmm. the shot goes yeah. past him hits directly into the front of this thing's grill punches through and then there's just a fireball as all that choo choo gets punched through and oh, the yeah. truck and, just goes up. And you see people flying out of this. Like, there are people with major force behind their bodies, like, flinging into the air. You know, you get a couple people who, like, thunk onto the ground. And, like, as that's happening, we get a shot of Felix's face with, like, this bright fireball reflecting. And a body thuds behind him. He just goes, it's raining men hallelujah as he's just like got the gun to this dude's face and this dude's like pissed himself at this point he's fucking terrified um and i need to make and... three attacks for what happens next because i can fire three weapons simultaneously yeah go ahead and pick off some stragglers there oh well, i just need to sh i just need to see how bad it is for all of them yeah pretty bad already jesus christ and I don't know if this is going to roll right, because it was weird. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, so as... They oh, start falling, and this thing just fucking mobile suits forward, firing the 
the shoulder mounted AT gun again, hits the ground in front of a bunch of them, and just yeah. there's a hail, a smoke of fucking just asphalt, blood. Mm -hmm. And then there's the quiet boom, 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 as I actually activate the smoke canisters to uh, pop yeah. smoke all amongst all of them. Some of them get yeah. cut down by a, another hail of caseless fire. Maybe one guy gets hit and we just see one half go one way, one half go the other. One gets pasted onto a wall. Yeah. And then one guy is trying to struggle through the smoke and we get it from his point of view as the fist of this tank, uh, this walking tank comes through, hits him in the jaw and all we see is the camera wrench at a weird angle with this ugly crunch. And then the rest, they're set on fire. It's just a yeah. halo of fire erupts from around the Maginaw. Right. And, you know, finally, you know, you've got all these people. And as you're kind of watching this chaos, you see one guy who's, like, crawling, like, away from you. He's just, like, he can't even speak. His throat is so burned from all of the choo-choo and the fire and all of that. You know, and he's, like, trying to crawl away towards the intersection. And he's not going to get far. He's lost an arm and a leg, so... Oh, yeah, just... He's not going to live. Kachum. Kachum. No one gets away from this one. Everything you've done? No. Not alive. And then it just stomps on top of him and just crushes him into the ground and then digs in the heel. Ooh, yeah. Probably we get a shot of Felix. And Felix looks back and for the first time in like weeks, Felix has this big fucking grin on his face. A unhinged, like completely unhinged grin. He goes, yeah, you see that asshole? Your friends, they're fucking dead. We killed them all. We fucking shot them. And like, he just like takes the back of his vector and slams it into the dude's chest. He's like, oh. It's like, yeah, and then we could do even worse. We're gonna fucking kill all of you. Every Felix. last one. And like he smacks the rifle into his face. And he's and... coming back over. It was just like, you don't play with your food. And he just like, at this point, he has taken the vector in a position that is not to fire, but to bludgeon. And he just is like, you stupid whack. Nazi! Whack! Asshole! Whack! And he just, like, is just screaming as he's, like, hitting this dude in the face. He died about two whacks ago at this point. Yeah, and maybe there's the... The Meganaw keeps approaching, and then as he's going to hit it again, it just catches, like, the whole of the gun and his arms. Yeah. It's not hurting him at all, but just stops it. And there's... Yeah. The heat coming off of this thing mm -hmm. is immense. Yeah. And there's just that <sighs> from the the internal at the yeah. internal O2 as the yeah. head looks at him he's, and he's like, he's dead. You've done enough. Felix probably, you know, seems to have a moment where he fucking pauses and looks at him and looks back at you and then he fucking slowly rests the gun takes it and fires a single round into the dude's head and he goes for good fucking measure and uh the smile is gone off of felix's face it kind of stopped being a smile as soon as he started bludgeoning this guy to death uh and like felix just fucking takes the gun puts it on his hip uh opposite of the other vector you know or probably on his back uh, and he looks at you and he goes okay so that's a patrol down. Are you getting any more tonight? Not tonight, little soldier. And he turns around and hunkers down. Come mm. on, climb up. You're not going to be able to keep up with me. And don't give me any of that quick as a cat bullshit. Yeah, Felix kind of... Felix is like, what, I've always liked upsies. And like hops on, uh, hops on the Meganaw's back. There's actually, like, a moment as he's saying, being always like, oh, so we're playing it like that, huh? 
and he reaches <laughs> back, picks him up, and fucking like holds him like a baby. Ah. Felix is like, are you fucking kidding me? As you like start to run off. Oh, just doosh, doosh, like yeah. jet boosted fucking run, getting oh, as yeah. far away from here as possible. Yeah. Movement so, allowance of 27. God damn, that's so much. But yeah, <clears throat> and you guys exfiltrate the situation, leaving nothing but carcasses, burning holes, and a complete lack of life. Anyone who might have been on that block was smart enough to hide the fuck down. Like, and we're going to cut from there. Well, I actually did have oh, just, a, just yeah. a little bit. I'm sorry. Not, not no, to scene hog. Absolutely. But he's like, did it help at all? Felix is probably, you know, he's got this weird look in his eye, you know? The kind of look when you look at someone and you're like, yeah, there's something that's not right going on, but, you know, I can't really tell. He goes, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. If you'll Maybe I need to do some more field research. If you'll indulge an old killer and an old maker of killers for a moment... There are seven billion stars here in the galaxy. Oh, and he immediately rolls his eyes. There are seven And he, like, reaches over and, like, hand on the head as, like, let the, let the man have his moment. Yeah, yeah. Seven billion billion of those. Yet there's only one of you, and the moment you let them kill that moment that Felix goes bye-bye and gets replaced by a killer cat who doesn't remember why he started doing this I guess they won listen I'm a monster I make monsters I build monsters you don't have to be that I do and Felix probably pauses for a second and then, like, in that really dismissive, like, teen way of, like, someone's got a point, he's like, whatever, dad. Fucking, like, turns and goes, so let me know whenever we can hit the next fucking caravan or whatever. In fact, you know what? You want to just drop me off at Ingvar's? Send me the coordinates. Yeah, and he sends you the cords. Maybe take, like, a hard left down a different like, oh, street. Oh, shit! Like, yeah. And, uh, yeah, you get to Ingvar's mega building. Now, you approach, and as you approach, there are, like, rocket turrets popping out of the front facade of the building. Uh, and you hear, um, like, a female's voice, um, unidentified, heavily armed intruder. Please state your business. And Felix is like, it's me! Shut the shit off. It's a friend. The turrets, like, pop in, pop back in. It's like, uh, you hear, like, welcome home, Felix. Like, it's not fucking home. At least I can hang out with someone cool here. Fucking hops out of your arms and goes, thanks for tonight. Uh, give me a call whenever we got some more crazy shit going down. Have a good night. Try to get some sleep. Kind of. Yeah. Boom! Gone. Yeah. And, um, this is interesting because now you're going, uh, you, you end up going to that warehouse. And I will tell you one thing about the warehouse. This warehouse seems to have not been touched for months. And there's a bunch of old net running gear on, like, carts. Hmm. Is it? Mm -hmm. I don't know how I see this, Amy lean in. this thing gets in, but like maybe goes to like a regular person door. Open and it's it's a wharf side one as well. Opens the door, pauses, closes it, goes to like a garage door, gets the fingers up under it, and just physically pushes this thing open. Oh yeah, and you can tell as soon as you get in here, two things: one, lots of old net running shit like on carts, you know, looks like it was at some point hooked up. There's a projector. And then there's a couple weapon cases that, you know, would have come from lucky. 
uh, they're empty. Uh, they have dust on them, uh, and they're wet from the, the condensation. You know, the foam is moldy and soaked. It must, must have been used by Lucky at some point. Plus, all these parts, they look all corroded and shit, you know? They've been sitting seaside for what you can only assume is months, maybe even years. What do I get from, like, a quick scan with my, uh, multi-spectrum display? Anything, like, are these any cool net running toys, or is it just the basics? It's a lot of really shitty stuff that's daisy-chained in a very, like, you don't understand how this stuff is daisy-chained. It's a lot smarter than you are about net running. But with your scan, you do get one thing. You see property of Hank, don't fucking touch on the side of one of them. Do I know about Hank? I don't know. Has anyone told Kashet about Hacker Hank? You know the body in the basement. I haven't said anything about me. Yeah, you know that there's like a, a an alpha coma Hank. case. Some Netrunner alpha coma case that they've been keeping around for some reason. Yeah, probably mm-hmm. ignores it for the most part, but very gently, gingerly steps over all of this. Gets to a part where it looks like it's probably the best place to put the Megana. Powers yeah. it down, steps out, and just looks fucking hollow inside. Like, yeah. You'd expect him to be like, yeah, I just fucking turned like, what, four? How many people was it? It was about 35 to 40, somewhere around there. Like, there was a, a full patrol and then reinforcements for said patrol. So 30 plus a D10, let's say. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. So 32. 32. Okay, yeah. Like, you'd think that this is like, yeah, I just killed 32 Nazis. Yeah. But he just looks like thousand yard stare closes the megana slumps down against its leg and then after a moment pulls out a little notebook and makes 32 little tallies and, then and just maybe as oh go ahead leans his head back and starts trying to like you're not sure if he's just resting or if he's trying to fall asleep but lean yeah. up against this thing and as you lean up, we get a shot that pulls back, and you're leaning right under a big thing of graffiti that appears to be a depiction of the woman in black. And we're going to cut Sick. from there. Sick! Oh. Right? right? There's, like, metaphors and shit. We're, like, showing, not telling. Like, <laughs> No, um... Wow. Yeah, uh, we're going to yeah. cut over to uh, Payne Dexter and uh, Connor. Uh, Connor, Payne Dexter, you guys have gotten an update on said chip. You actually got an update. There is someone who... So, so one of the Nick Cages sends you, Payne, specifically, because they work with you, you know, uh, sends you a dossier with no context at first. Uh, the dossier is for a... Um, for a... God, why do I never think of the names of scientific people? Hold on. Ba 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 ba. And then the ba 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 uh, hold on. Well, that's easy. Um, Just talking exactly. about Santa on Twitter. Yeah, uh, a nice doctor, time. yeah, right, say one bad thing about Neil deGrasse Tyson on Twitter, and then he'll be, um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, so, as, uh, you know, you get a dossier for a guy by the name of Elijah Nickel, uh, or a Dr. Nickel, um, you know, he's, the, the, the things that they're saying is he's bona fide, you know, he's got He's got uh, science cred behind him. He worked in Artis at some point. Uh, and uh, he's been doing, um, he's uh, ever since he decided to open up a, uh, he decided to open up a, uh, like a food truck, essentially. And yeah, you just get that. 
computer. Did I forget to check the chart? Yes, you did. You okay. <laughs> I look it over. I'm like, uh-huh. Am I supposed to take this guy out for no reason that he's an ex-scientist? Uh, okay, GM, help me out because I have I have horrible memory. Oh what no, was, you're all good. What was the Go name of the What was the name of the uh, scientist that got that uh, the chip was hanging out with before he got picked up by I think it was Travolta's. Uh, he was a um, guy who played Sorg. Ah, Jean Baptiste. Yes, Manuel. he was a Jean Baptiste. <laughs> okay. Um. This guy does not look like John Baptiste. Okay. Uh, in fact, he looks like just a normal nerd. You could always ask them, hey, why'd you send me this? It's not like the cages are 100% uh, competent. Sure. I'll call them first. Yeah. You you call. You hear, hello? This is Payne Dexter. Oh, what's nice. With the, what's with the dossier? Oh, are you on a secure line we're totally secure kind of goes oh right on but that chip that you found the the thing that apparently they wanted we found the guy who made it okay and uh am i supposed to take him out or well get his help or well here's something. the thing we can't really affect um the uh, Travolta team right now because, well, they've done a few things. They've got the uh, Schwarzenegger squad on their side now. Oh, and these guys, let me tell you, a lot of them like Terminator movies. Great, big John. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I figure. <laughs> he's like, I figure. While we try and figure out a plan. Maybe we might be able to get some information about this chip, figure out what why he even wants it. What's even going on? Because you guys didn't tell them anything about the chip other than we found a chip. So they don't... They, they, you gave them a rough spec of the chip and they went, oh, so we can find the guy who found this. They don't yeah. know it's a personality chip. Yep, they don't. <laughs> I gave them precious little info. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'll uh, see what I can do with this information. Schwarzeneggers, you said? Yeah, yeah. We're we're in talks with a a, a couple groups. Uh, not um. Well, we haven't really heard any calls back yet, so you're kind of our only hope. Well, remember, natural natural enemy of the Schwarzeneggers. Check for check for the Stallones. Oh, shit. That's a great idea. We should call on, or we should check out the Stallone community out here. We don't really know much about them. You know, we actually did get a, uh, we did get a uh, slight ring back, but it was just from, uh, from the DeVito dudes. I don't think they're going to be much help. No. Probably not much help at all. No, I want them. <laughs> but they might come in Thank glasses. You. Balls! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a trash me. Yeah, um, he's like, we'll keep a, we'll keep an open line with them. Appreciate your help again. All right, I'll call you back when I have more info. Yeah, and uh, he and uh, hang up and call Cash. Okay, <laughs> Cash, you get a fizzone kizzle. Yes, where am I right now? Can I uh, buy a lot of this stuff out and about? Yeah, you're just out and about finding stuff. Who has a truck? Uh, does does you could get serum to drive you? That's what I was gonna see. Yeah. Uh, so no, I want to serum. pick up serum. And... Go ahead. He's, he's a friendly guy. He's you know yeah. he's one of those people who you haven't gotten a lot of FaceTime with, but like you know, Pain Dexter has. Right, right. And yeah. what little bit that we have like been in contact, he's always been just an absolute delight. So yeah. just like. Hey, can I pay you five eddies to drive me around for a minute and maybe also help me load something in the back of your van? And you're probably doing this in the club, you know? Yeah. And he probably, 
he's like working on some shit. He's working on scenes van still. And he's just like, how the mm -hmm. fuck is this different? Yeah, I could use some air. Uh, fuck the five eddies. Just uh, buy me lunch. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we'll, we're going to go. We're going to go buy this fucking chair. <laughs> and he's going to, he's going to uh, grab the company van. Um, okay. And he's like, yeah, Lucky lets me take this out whenever I need to. And we don't have another beer run for, well, distributors are coming to us. So unless something goes tits up, no one's going to need this for two days, I think. So oh, fuck it. That's great. Yeah, yeah he, I, I just need it for a few hours. Yeah, and he gets in, starts it up. And, you know, it probably takes a second to start. And he goes, soon, my beauty, as soon as I fix the other van, you're next. Like, you know, as he kind of <laughs> starts it off and he pulls you guys out and he goes, so what you what you looking for? And like as you're uh, doing that, uh, you get the yeah. phone call from Payne Dexter. Yeah, just hello. <laughs> hey, Cash, how's it going? I need um, you to check out two names and see if they cross anywhere. It's about uh, the chip. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that, yeah. and I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out a pen and, uh, and he'll scribble down those, on my list. He'll give you those uh, those two names. So Elijah okay. Nichols and then um, <laughs> the uh, the John uh, Baptiste. Yeah, John Baptiste. Which when you like, Google, like you John just Baptiste. <laughs> yeah, and when you Google that, you get <laughs> literally just John Baptiste, the actor. The actor. Is he? Isn't John Baptiste? He's the. Uh, he's on uh, Stephen Colbert's show. Isn't he? Isn't that the uh, same guy I'm thinking of? Let's see here. Uh, he's um he plays the piano. He's he's a brilliant musician. Oh oh no um yes yeah, Jean Baptiste. Who played Jean ba Baptiste? Who was that? Uh, played by there we go. Uh, Gary Oldman. Okay, so uh, yeah, yeah. Jean Baptiste Emmanuel Zor would be the full name, and what you get on that oh, is fuck literally. Off. Yes. And it is literally <laughs> the guy from Fifth Element. That's my favorite movie ever. Oh my god. It's a great yeah. movie. It's the best. Uh okay. Yeah. I can I is that something I could do in the van? Yeah, absolutely. You could totally look these up. Go ahead and give me a interface. Okay. Or would it be interface? It. What is the thing to search the internet for people? I've been using interface for all interface of that. Works. I don't really know what else. Interface to do. is fine. Yeah. Thirty-five, yeah. Interface is great. Um, right. So here's what you get for John Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg. Um, you get that there is one guy in New Amsterdam who is registered under that name. He looks exactly like the guy from the movie. Like, looks like Gary Oldman to a T. And yeah. um, he currently, I mean, the last time he posted on anything, which he posts mostly Zord quotes and new quotes, like in you quotes, as if he mm -hmm. were Zord. He's like lost in the sauce vibes. You've seen mm -hmm. people like this online. They're poser gangers, but online yeah. vibes. Uh, seems right. like he was uh, on some dating apps. Uh, he didn't get a lot of, um, didn't get a lot of traction. Um, probably not so much traction because, uh, one of his pickup lines was, um, was, uh, well, shucks, I can't think of a good pickup line. So it probably would be, Hey, do you want to be my fifth element or something like that? Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, looking, looking for the Lilu Dallas multi-pass to my, uh, <laughs> to my, uh, Art. or to my, yeah, exactly. You know, he's, Thank he's, you. he's. <laughs> He's cringe. He's he's cringe, cringe. That's all we have to say. He's cringe. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if um, I may, because this is my element. Yeah. The fifth cringe! Element? There you go. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, you don't know where he is right now, because, you know, he hasn't posted in a while. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. a much more interesting, uh, the much more interesting thing going on is this Elijah Nichol? Mm -hmm. So Elijah's straight bona fide. 
right? Mm-hmm. Um, he started off, went to the RT school, or he probably actually went to the EMED School of Medicine, graduated at top marks, And then he ended up getting brought in on Ops Counterintelligence Division. And then from there, he got shuffled around a little bit and got brought into some artiste projects. Uh, On paper, they said that he was working for Boston Dynamics. However, you know that that's not true. And it wouldn't even Mm -hmm. make sense because his specialty isn't mechanical. His specialty is Mm -hmm. chipware, right? Uh, Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, he quit his job uh, at boston dynamics which Mm -hmm. could be easily coded as zenith um Mm -hmm. at a pretty weird time like first of all he went straight from op to zenith because you know he worked for Zenith. so he went straight Mm -hmm. from op to zenith which could make some implications with the with the past that you have interacted with yourself between op and zenith such as the operator right Mm -hmm. uh but then he kind of left Right when the operator died, like you actually cross check the date, he hmm. left the day the operator died. Hmm. Uh, he currently owns a uh, he only he currently owns a scop shop. It's known as uh, it's known as uh, Taco Tuesday every day. It's the worst name for a food truck you've ever seen. Um, yeah. and it has a two point two star review on Yelp. Got it. I'm writing um, it down. And uh, this probably would strike you as pretty unusual because this man is incredibly smart. Like very clearly, like you have his transcripts from before he went to big boy jobs. Mm-hmm. Straight A plus. Extra credit, all that shit. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. So I will relay all of that to uh, Payne Dexter and... Now, Taco Tuesday every day. Is it open every day? Yeah. It's open Where right is now. It? Uh, Where is so it? there's a couple different places he parks. Uh, today happens to be, hold on, I need to get out a 2033 calendar. And then we said it's September 12th right now? Yes. 12th. Let's see here. So September 12th. Let's see if it's Tuesday. September 12th is going to be that would be it's so a Monday. Fuck. It's a All right. Monday. That's um, okay. But yeah, All that uh, means right is now you can't get lasagna today. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh that's the Garfield card. Uh But no. Garfield uh, card. Yeah, thank you. I'm I'm glad that you know that reference and appreciate it. Uh, it looks like his uh, his spot on Mondays typically sets up over in we're gonna say Canal Belt North, kind of on the edge between Waterfront and Canal Belt North. Okay. Um, okay. So then you I will. Link, I will also... Are you attempting to link up with these guys? Because that's totally something I you know. can do. Uh, am I? Ooh. Uh, I I am gonna ask Payne. <gasps> oh fuck! Where are we going to get our parts? I all over. Okay. You could take is a quick break. Okay? I mean, if you want to buy serum lunch, this is the perfect excuse. I mean, I think I might buy serum lunch at Taco Tuesday every day. Absolutely. So I'll relay all of that to Payne, and then I'll be like, if you're around, do you also want to go to lunch with us? We're going to Canal Belt North. Hell yeah. I'll grab uh, Connor. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> so yeah, you guys have place that you're going to meet. Um, and you know, both of your drives are pretty easy. I think that probably... Um, like Connor and Payne, you guys obviously know you're heading to this place to fucking raise some hell, probably. Uh, you guys are solos. Every problem is a hammer, or every problem is a nail. And guess what? You have on the back of your pistols hammers. Uh, it's a sledgehammer, get her. Right. Absolutely. Um, meanwhile, I don't think that you have relayed yet to Serum what this is going to be. So he's like. I don't know enough about it, but I am going to mention that Payne and Connor are going to meet us there, and they're also doing some stuff, so maybe we, like, get it to go. Like, <laughs> oh, shit, Biz. 
Shit, I've never maybe had, I've never gotten lunch while I'm on biz. This will be cool. Really? Oh my god, it's the best. It's like a nice mini break in between all the bloodshed. It's really is, delightful. Yeah, no, I you know part of me is like wondering like is that healthy to like have micro doses of breaks from that or do you just want to get that in one big block so you can kind of block it all out later or like I, yeah as he's driving. Know. Right, right. We'll just discuss it. Man, I don't know. I sometimes, sometimes it's better to just get it all out of the way. But sometimes you gotta eat because you gotta get those calories in. Oh, like, that's true. I remember whenever you get we your were, brain right. whenever I was on the roof with Lucky, there was like two things pissing me off. One, she kept holding mm-hmm. me back from going and doing anything. And two, I was so fucking hungry. But can you imagine if you eat something that doesn't agree with you? Like, what do you just like shit yourself? Like while you're like. I mean, I guess uh, the uh, person you're fucking with is not going to notice. That's for sure. Uh, God, that would be embarrassing if you shit yourself and you get shot. Can you imagine? Uh, well, I mean, if you if you die, you shit yourself anyway. I, should, so, I need to ask Connor if he's ever shat himself in the middle of a firefight. He might have. Great question. He's been he he's been around the block. Uh, he yeah, has. And, and sometimes probably, you just can't find a bathroom. <laughs> yeah. And probably as you guys are pulling up, Connor and Payne, you guys are also pulling up to this place. Now, did you take a car or did you get uh, did you get a um, uh, did you get a cab or did you go Yakton and get like a scooter for each of you? Probably a scooter for each of us. Okay, right on like that. Yes. You, Connor, uh, on pull, scooter, uh, Connor on a scooter, Connor on a scooter. <laughs> go ahead and, uh, unless you're going to fudge these and then dump them in the river, go ahead and pay 10 eddies, which okay. you can totally do the first one. It's really easy. Like, uh, why not? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So, yeah, you, you guys all pull up. You see Connor pull up on a scooter, which has got to be delightful. <laughs> It um, is delightful. I see Payne Dexter seems life. a little bit more reasonable to be on a scooter, but I love the idea of Connor, yeah. just this like tactical Scotsman riding up on a fucking beep beep, like a little Vespa or something. It the is hilarious true. thing is almost all of Connor's armor is heavy leather. Oh, I love that. Oh. So you look like a biker on it's a Vespa. So good. It's yeah, basically. so good. Uh, I like gonna a little... fucking cackle. Ring, 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 ring. Yeah. Yeah. And like you guys pull oh, up and then as soon as Serum gets out of the van, it's like Oh, Payne, Connor. Hey, Connor, I got a weird question. Shit, we got to handle biz first. Wait, wait, wait. Before before, before anything happens, because I have a feeling something's going to happen, do you mind if, like, Serum and I get our food real fast? Can we get that real fast? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let's see what's on the menu. Yeah. yeah it's probably guys... tacos. <laughs> and, yeah, you guys walk up, and you see the thinnest most wiry kind of like older dude uh you know he's got like these wireframe glasses he's balding you know um and uh you know you kind of walk up and he's like oh hello to taco tuesdays every two or uh every day uh how can uh how can i help you and like the menu is it's not tex max that's for fucking certain uh, and it's certainly not mexican tacos? Uh, have, mm-hmm. Is it like no, no, no. Taco Bell type menu? Oh, not even that, because I'd consider Taco Bell the bottom rung of Tex-Mex. Well, Taco Tico is the bottom rung of Tex-Mex. Let's get it not twisted. But whatever the case, this is... You guys ever heard of what the French people call tacos? No. No, and I'm afraid. So, so am I. There is... they. It's, so we're starting off strong with pita bread. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> usually... <laughs> They then put on mayo, cotilla cheese, and some sort of fish. That's about what the menu looks like. Just variations of that kind of food. No spice. No spice whatsoever. This has no spice to it. This is taco barely even in form. I have a homie who stayed in France and went to like three different taco shops. And every single one of them did the exact same thing. And that is what this is. That's the true nightmare of cyberpunk. I fucking hate this. Uh, Cash also hates this. This is not real tacos. And uh, oh yeah, because you're gonna, from LA. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna look over at Serum and be like, "You want to go somewhere else?" <laughs> Serum's like Connor's. Like I'll take four. Yeah, yeah. Serum <laughs> like, is like Connor's from Scotland. <laughs> like, yeah, Scotland, who no. Cares? Serum probably looks at it and goes, "I don't know." pretty hungry 
think this will make me shit myself. Hey, Connor, about that question. And he just like has this yeah. big fucking grin. He's like, you ever shit yourself in a combat scenario? Oh, a couple of times. He well, how does that my fucking... pants. Well, how does that work though? Like, like obviously I'm not talking about like getting the shit scared out of you. Like I'm, I'm talking like, man, I've been in this firefight for like an hour. I got to drop a deuce. Yeah. It, it dumpy pants. When, when, when you're stuck in a hole for like six hours Ooh. and your partner decided it was bean day. Oh, Jesus. Gnarly. Woof. That does not sound preem. It's not. Y'all take two tacos. Like, <laughs> Yeah, right. I'm going to be like, do you have beans? Because that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just like, I do have beans. Uh, we have a uh, surf and turf. Uh, um, we have a uh, synth steak or a uh, synth sirloin uh, mixed with uh, actual fish, not from the Amso, mind you. Uh, and uh, we also have it with uh, pinto and, uh, and uh, garbanzo beans. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess I'll take two of those, please. He's like, with or without fries? Uh, what kind of fries? Are they French fries or are they chips? He's like, I didn't know there was a or, difference. Or, like, He's I like, don't know. Are they? Uh, they are, um, uh, and you can tell English is not his first language. He's like, they are, um, mm -hmm. uh, big, uh, hearty, uh, potatoes, uh, large, big okay. ones. Yeah, I'll take the fries. Can I just get the fries? You know what? Never mind. This is great. This is great. Yes, with the fries. With yes, with the fries, please. I have the same order. order. Okay. Yeah, and he <laughs> he fries them up pretty decently. Seems to be a shit cook. Uh, doesn't seem to have any organizational structure whatsoever. And uh, when you guys get your uh, tacos, uh, all of the ingredients that typically could be burned are burned. They're folded like they're a falafel, and there are French fries sticking out of the middle of these things. Like oh, as in God. inside the 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 taco. Oh God! Um, Again, this is so, first hand accounts. Right, that's awful. This is the fucking Carter's worst. just like eh, just like back home. Yeah, hold oh on. Oh my me, God! Let me just uh, let me just send you guys a picture of what a French taco looks like. Oh no! Um, oh no! Abomination! It's uh, hold on. That's so I just well, this is what a French taco looks like. It's just really? not a taco. Why it's... France? Why? Yeah. Okay. First thing you said France. Yeah. Okay. Let's get it right. Yeah. Now, if you said Quebec, uh, that would even be worse. But oh yeah, no. Uh, Rowan, can, like can we get this. the picture of the ape? Like, <laughs> no. Can you, can you? Is there any way you could put that on stream? The French taco. This is, I need people to understand. This is awful. I need to this raise awareness. This is a hot pocket. This is a hot pocket with God knows what on the inside, the and also French fries from cooked Satan. in the weirdest way. A hot pocket. Hot pocket from Satan. Like, <laughs> okay, I I am offended. I just got I just got back from Mexico, and I am <laughs> fucking offended right now. The funniest oh part is that they do use cotilla cheese. Um, right, that's the only, that's the which only is, part which is of like, it that makes sense. Which is uber authentic, right? Like that's like I mean that's like the one kinda, thing that people don't usually use on tacos, which should be on tacos. Right, right. There's lots of places like authentic tacos, authentic street tacos, they won't even put cheese on it. They don't yeah. do that. No, absolutely. Um, that's insane. Uh that's insane. This is awful. How does it taste? I mean. It tastes like you put some meat and mayo and some fish, probably, and in your case, some some two very clashing beans, uh, in in a in a in a falafel, and then you grilled it for about a minute, and then you gave it to someone. It's hot. It's edible. Yeah. It's better than kibble. Yeah. Um, That's what Connor's uh, thinking. Like, better yeah. than kibble. The the issue is the texture. Uh, it's yeah. like. Bushy in all the wrong places, but the sensor loin, like, kind of like is still chewy and a little burn. Uh, and the fries, they were crispy before they got re grilled. So, anyway, yeah. this is 
this is i was worried that you were gonna have to deafen earlier but like now i'm just like that now amy needs to deafen for a different reason. now i think i kind yeah. of do now i feel a little icky uh yeah. on the inside like <laughs> no this is nothing let's the go back to just the turning a little bit <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> right like, anyway <laughs> you guys you guys I get like it yeah you guys get your uh you guys get your french tacos um and um you know taco tuesday every day um every day you know uh, uh serum doesn't seem to have a problem with him he'll scarf him down right no, pain extra doesn't right. know any down. It's like uh, huh? pain extra doesn't know any better oh yeah. god like cash is struggling she's struggling so hard um she's gonna take a before she takes a bite, she's going to ask. This is Elijah Nichols, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be like, so how long have you owned the this taco truck? Mm. Um, And uh, he probably pauses for a second. And he goes, oh, maybe about two or three months. And by the way, uh. I don't care how you guys split it up, but uh, you are going to need to subtract 30 eddies um, for the absorbent amount of tacos, because that's two for each of you and four for Connor. So uh, Yeah, Connor will pay for it. Okay, right on. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I appreciate that, Zero because I am it. upset. <laughs> yeah, and um, he'll probably be like, I've owned it for about uh, two, three months, something like that. Yeah, these are interesting. Where did you learn how to make these specific tacos oh they have uh they are a favorite uh of mine uh, i actually learned the recipe from my uh from my uh mama um she was uh a wonderful woman before she passed uh you know she was actually before the nuke fire too so she actually learned this cooking from uh well we have a uh, lineage in france and so uh, she learned mm -hmm. her cooking from french chefs and of course she passed that on to me i was never one for the uh, hard labor i was always more of a uh, you know uh, i have an aptitude for numbers and such so uh, of course cooking is only numbers at the end of the day just as long as you are able to put them together so uh yes i mm -hmm. learned the recipe and i got some uh, extra recipes from the internet from the dev uh which was uh, very helpful um, and then uh, I decided, uh, why not to make it my uh, job to be making the good foods that brought me so much happiness when I was a little boy. Right. No, that's that's really lovely. That's a lovely story. <laughs> Do you get a lot of business? Uh, I am slowly growing my business. It is taking me a uh, small amount of time. Uh, there are a few people who I believe might have... Um, uh, different tastes uh you know these are i for, i personally find these wonderful and my philosophy in life is if i feel something i am not special someone else must feel the same thing sure no that's that's exceptional uh wow thank you so much for making these meals for us uh uh oh he yeah. smiles and says please leave a good review on yelp it would help my business uh, if you like Sims, that is, of course, I do not want to pressure you into doing something you do not want to do. That would be above and beyond so, sure. and I would appreciate it. Sure, 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 and sure, sure. The read you're getting great. off this guy is he's just a sweetheart. He's not good at cooking. Yeah. So when you know? they no. show up and blow this guy's car up for his crimes I'm, against food. Right. I'm really sad. I'm, I'm, I will, I will be like, yeah, for sure. And I'm going to take a bite out of it. And I'm going to go. Mm. Uh, mm, yeah, it's good. <laughs> like, oh, you like it? That, that's good. I'm I'm very glad. You know, uh, most people. Uh, the problems with uh, New Amsterdam sometimes is that people will um they they will uh, eat and run. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I I do have a pavilion chair over there. Uh, with a small table. Uh, I, I bring that with me. Um, but yeah, I, it is appreciated that you even stay. Most people, whenever they buy my food, they uh, they grab it and they go and they leave off. And uh, they say, is, uh, uh, they call my place a uh, scop shop. Uh, I do not know what this scop shop means. It's a uh, is positive thing, yes? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Uh, it means like a shit shop. Like it's bad food. Ah. <laughs> uh you know, I've never heard the phrase before. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't be of more help. Yeah. 
And he goes, ah, I am sure it is something good. Uh, deep down, I believe that people are good at, let's say, uh, at being people. Uh, this city might try to tell you otherwise, but listen, when you get to the core of people, you will be able to tell that most of them are uh, kind souls. Hmm. Not that's Nazis, a, that's they're not very... people. <laughs> right. Just a very positive outlook on things. Listen, I know you said you don't like it when people eat and run, but I think we're going to have to eat and run. Uh, that's okay. I understand this is a busy world. I appreciate you talking to me. It is not often I get to actually talk to people. Most of the times they get my food and they either like it or they don't. And uh, that is the only thing we talk about. But I feel I have gotten to make a connection. What is your name, young lady? Tiffany. Ah, uh, Tiffany, it is a pleasure to meet you. I <laughs> hope that you stop by my shop again soon. And he gives you a big you. smile. Yeah, I'm gonna see him is trying to not lose his shit in the background because yeah. he knows what's probably about to happen. <laughs> right, he's right, like, right, right. <laughs> he's like cracking up and shit, and he's like, "Hey, yeah. uh, t uh t Tiffany, we got a um a business meeting." Yep, yep, gotta go, gotta yeah. go. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Thanks for lunch, uh, and guy <laughs> yeah and he, were you about to say his actual name just I was because say connor's name but i was like no oh, no <laughs> so um you guys leave you guys leave and but you don't like actually leave you get to the car right. and then theorem says i want to see how this plays out <laughs> i mean i do too but i gotta throw this shit away because it fucking stinks there's a <laughs> trash can right over there he's like i yeah. didn't think it was you know actually if you're not gonna eat that i'll fucking eat it you can have it. You can He's have it. He's fucking devours it. <laughs> um, yeah. Leave so, him a good review on Yelp. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Connor and Payne Dexter, you saw all of this go down. Yep. What's the next move here, guys? Yeah, you're going to walk up to the truck. So you have a, a numbers thing. So, and that's why you cook? Yes, yes, it is all about finding the right measurements to make the proper flavor. Yeah, but you, uh, I'm looking at you, and you look older than someone who would just normally start a job like this. I mean, what did you do before you opened a uh, eatery? Kind of pauses for a second and goes, hmm. Well, before I opened up an eatery, uh, I was, well... Uh, let's just say I was in a career that didn't suit me. I wasn't exactly a fan of it. And uh, the work was uh, trying. So I decided to retire. Uh, my employers weren't very happy about that. But I mean, this is the New Amsterdam dream. You end up getting to do all of the fun things you've always wanted to do. In fact, I want to go to a nightclub one day. How would you like to go to one tonight? Ooh, exciting. What kind of nightclub? Actually, you are a strange man and I do not know you. So allow me to make acquaintance. My name is Elijah. Uh, just call me Dex. And uh, it's a very nice club. And it's called Tartarus. Mm, oh, I've actually heard of Tartarus. This place, uh, this is uh, somewhat uh, dangerous bar, right? There are uh, various, uh, um, and then he like goes in like a quiet whisper and is like criminal elements, correct? Oh, that's just part of the thrill of the place. I mean, oh. it's not really dangerous. They have security. Ah, très bon. Very interesting. Kind of like, kind of goes, hmm, well, I would have to pack up my shop and drive it to my garage, but uh, well, is there a door fee? I can have it waived for you. Oh, you know people there. Ah, I see. You are trying to drum up cross business. If you yes. bring me business cards, I would be more than happy to hand them out to anyone who comes by this card. Ah, this also, truck. Yes, and also you can uh, bring your business cards to the, to the club so you can hand them out there. Ah, yes. And he like rummages down underneath his cash register and pulls out a stack of like business cards that are like printed on plastic and he's like i have just these things 
uh, my mother always told me to be prepared to network. And he hands you a business card. And uh, it is a business card. Go ahead and add it to your inventory because I think I just, I someone needs to have this in their inventory. And it is uh, a business card for Taco uh, Taco Tuesday every day for one Elijah or uh, Elijah Nickel. <laughs> He's very excited to give you the business card. He actually offers one to you too as well, Connor. Oh, Connor, I'll take it. Yeah. Says your friend here, a silence partner, I assume. Yeah, he's very silent. Mm -hmm. Understood. Uh, men of few words are often men of action. I can respect that. Now, uh, when I get Connor... back there to start opening up, uh, what time do you think you'll show up there? Mm, I could show up. And he looks at the clock and it's, it's like, well, it is almost quitting time. I could probably show up, say, you know, it's like six o'clock right now. He's probably like, I could probably show up in, say, an hour. All right. Yeah. But I'll meet you there, and the first drink's on me. Says, well, thank you, Dex. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And uh, he actually starts wrapping up shop. <laughs> so do we want to fast forward to you uh, meeting <laughs> yes. this gentleman at the club? Yep. All right. <laughs> oh, good, yes. I, I, even I want to see how this runs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna ride back with like Connor. We'll have home court advantage. We'll have him there. Easy pickings. Yeah. What are we gonna do with them? We're gonna uh, we're gonna grill him until he gives us more information about that chip. Okay. Well, what are we gonna do with them after that? Cool. Give him a drink and send him back home. I mean. <laughs> We don't have to kill him. That's a travesty of food. Yeah. I'd well, rather would have had a kibble taco. Oh, fuck. Uh, I love how Connor's like, yeah, I'll just kill him for the fucking food. Like, <laughs> um, Well, uh, let's get what information we can out of him first, and then you can punish him for his crimes against gastronomy. That's good. <laughs> uh, yeah so you guys get back to the club and uh cash for your part uh you do find the runner's chair and all the parts you're looking for uh, it's a okay. kind of around the town sort of bounce about to this tech shop and that tech shop you actually do buy the runner's chair from an actual legitimate like like it's probably a silicon industries like storefront that you buy oh, it from neat. you know like not a bazaar you buy a new one yeah um, and Did Serum I... helped you check all the shit out as well. Oh, that's cool. Could I have gotten the chair for a little cheaper? Would I have been able to talk him down? Fast talk. Persuade. Okay. 17. All right. Yeah, you uh, will say that they bumped off 10k eddies because they okay. liked you and they were going to make a sale. Oh, thanks, yeah. guys. I appreciate that. And then the last server, it, I actually got it for twelve five, but that was with Twitch doing it. So, so we'll say that instead of twelve five, we'll mm -hmm. say that for this one you pay fifteen, but okay. that's mainly because um, you know you're getting it kind of on short order, and it's like mm -hmm. you're looking for it instead of like going to a night. You know, a night right. market, everything's going to be a little cheaper. If you have to search for something, it'll be a little more expensive. Right. For sure. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So y'all get back to the club, all of you. Um, and, uh, you know, Payne, Connor, I'm assuming you guys are probably sitting at the bar near the front. Yep. So uh -huh. you guys are hanging out and you see... Um, you see uh, this gentleman at the door. You've probably, have you given the Dutchman the description of this guy? Yes, I have. Yeah, so you see this guy come in and he is wearing a disco suit. Uh, it is uh, absurd. He looks so silly. Crimes he against looks fashion. Like, say what? Crimes against fashion. Absolutely. This man seems to have no taste in multiple ways. Um, 
It's probably like bright yellow with a gold tie and like blue checked pants. Um, and he's got some kind of stupid fucking sunglasses on because he needs to have glasses on. Um, and he comes in and kind of looks around and he's got his mouth open like, whoa, as like someone bumps into him, moves past him or whatever. And he kind of looks and oh, uh, sorry, you know, sort of thing. And he looks around. He sees you guys. He looks and goes, mm. ah, Dex. Uh, the, the quiet one. Uh, hello, hello. It's, it's a pleasure to see you. And like he runs over and fucking almost bumps into a fucking um, uh, uh, almost bumps into a fucking server. Goes, oh, I'm sorry, young lady. Apologies. And like continues and goes over and goes, hello, friends. It is a pleasure to meet you. Hello. Pull up As a he's seat. doing that, I, I I look at Pierre and make the sign triple. I need a triple. Yeah. Pierre nods and immediately slides you a triple. He goes, ah, you don't even need to talk to him. You have a working relationship with the bartender. Very wunderbar. You know, uh, and he's he's switching between German and French a bunch. <laughs> uh, and I'll look to Pierre. Uh, two very heavy Long Island iced teas, please. Oh, heavy. This is some vernacular i'm learning you know i actually brought a notepad so that i could write a few things down so that i could make sure that i uh, learned as much as i could about your business so that we could uh, properly have pairing oh i brought cards and he like hands a stack of business cards to pierre and goes my good bartender man please whenever someone comes in and they are acting like they are looking hungry i know you have a kitchen but if they happen to be away from this area i have some of the best tacos in the town and pierre takes them graciously and kind of nods and goes, appreciate or um, appreciate and he probably puts the uh, the cards underneath the table probably never to be seen again, he might have just hucked them in the trash oh no, I just realized Pierre has French accent yeah oh no, true French tacos <laughs> oh no even Pierre would consider these a crime against culinary arts yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Pierre's the, a cultured one. The little he cook, is cultured. The little cook might want to talk about France. Yeah, and he probably says, I do detect an accent. Uh, and he probably says some shit in French, to which Pierre responds in French amicably, but probably pretty curtly as, uh, you know, somebody at the end of the bar. Pierre is known for this trick where he has a couple people at, a, at the bar, usually, who he'll give them a look and they'll be like, hey, barman. Um, he's good about setting that. You've noticed that about Pierre. He's got a lot of little things like that. Like he seems to always be in control of the situation. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like the says, escape text on blind dates. Gotcha. Right. Exactly. Uh, and he probably looks and goes, um, pardon me, gentlemen. Uh, there is a, uh, uh, there is a thirsty customer over there. I would love oh. to continue to talk to you about it later. Though, sir. And says, ah, yes. Uh, and, you know, probably says, um, hello there. You know, sort of thing, and kind of nods and walks over to the other edge of the bar, leaving just you three. And uh, he grabs his Long Island and takes a drink and goes, Ah, oh, is there even alcohol in here? This is, what did you call this? Uh, it's a heavy Long Island iced tea. Mm, a heavy Long Island iced tea. Well, there is certainly uh, there is certainly a heaviness to it. I am already feeling this the sparkles in my head, you know, sort of thing as he takes another big drink. By the way, Cash, are you around? Um, I feel like we'd be lugging in shit. Yeah. Yeah. You're in the garage lugging shit in. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. We could carry a chair wherever we need to carry it. True. <laughs> But, do you um, want me to be at the bar? <laughs> no, you don't have to. <laughs> oh, I, although you can if you want I would, to. I would text Cash. <laughs> the, the the cook slash scientist is here. Help me grill. <laughs> oh me God! Grill. Like you're going to get a response back. Oh God! My name is now Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look I at love that. Tiffany. Yeah. yeah. Tiffany Talibre. Gonna... Shit. I'm going to look at Sarah and be like, do you want to go to the bar with me and talk to a fancy taco fish guy? 
You know, his food wasn't all that bad. Plus, I could use a beer to wash the taste of his food out of my mouth. So let's do it. Right? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I feel oh, better you just now. Have your, you probably have your net runners unloading everything. You know? Oh, yeah. You got, you got a crew. You have staff. You got a crew. Yeah. Uh -oh. I love that. Like, you guys are doing great. Don't break it. It was very expensive. And yeah. also... There's a very nice mini fridge that was not crazy expensive that I'm sure Crumb Kenny will have a shit fit over when he sees it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll it's say for microwave. like the microwave and fridge, you probably got a combo unit because that's a thing in cyberpunk apparently now. Yeah. Uh, and you probably got it for 50 eddies. Like, okay. And that's a decent one too. Like it's not going to break on you. Okay. Um, but yeah, you you head to the bar and as you approach, you know, this guy's already halfway done. You've been here five minutes and he's already halfway done with his Long Island. And he looks and he goes, Tiffany! Oh, Hi. it's you too! The other guy! What was your name again? He goes, Doug. He goes, Doug! <laughs> he's so nice to meet you! I see you both again! What's serendipity? <clears throat> oh, wait, you knew each other. Do you all know each other from the bar? Yes, we do. Uh, Yep. We patron here quite frequently. Uh, yeah, this is kind of the spot where we go to drink. You know, the, the drinks are fairly inexpensive and pretty stout. And, you know, Doug and I, we just love to have a good time. And I am going to link my arm into Serum. <laughs> oh, I did not know that you were a couple. And Serum goes, uh... <laughs> yeah. And then, like, and then, like, yeah, you're like, yeah. And he's like, ah, congratulations. How long have you been dating? And Serum's like, uh <laughs> four months it's been four months four it's, happiest it's months quite... of Connor my life is trying right, to Tiffany? keep the smirk off his face <laughs> <laughs> he like he's like barman beer me and then another bartender like one of the other bartenders goes get it yourself he's like yeah you're right like reaches over and grabs two beers and hands one goes, wow <laughs> the service here very bohemian <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I hate everything. This is the worst. Oh God. How do you do it? Your fault. I know I did it. I totally did this. Uh in my internal agent, I am going to text Trixie and be like, shit's weird at the bar. Please don't freak out. <laughs> Trixie just said, Serum told me that you two are dating now. Have fun. Oh, God. Thank you. I with a, you. With a winky face. <laughs> You're the best. And Serum, Serum's you. got an internal agent, and he probably he immediately went, LOL, this is so funny. I'm going to send this to Trixie. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Um, I love it so much. Yeah. Yep. 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 So what brings you here? Oh, I was, this? I was. Oh, go ahead. We were okay. just going to be networking a little bit. And, you know, his business, our business, food and drink go together. Uh, yes. Also, he was about to tell us about his, the, his, the job he used to work before he opened a truck. I mean, he said it was oh. very interesting, right? Oh, Even though you didn't oh, like it. It wasn't, wasn't very interesting. Mostly uh, bullshit day in, day out. And he's like, he's finishing his thing. And as soon as he finishes his thing, Pierre is on the fucking move refilling his long island iced tea pierre gets the fucking message uh -huh. you know um and uh he goes oh thank you thank you and uh um kind of takes another drink and goes this is strong no um mm -hmm. i um no my job beforehand i uh it was mostly uh uh, uh how do you even say it uh design work i suppose I was working with small companies, trying to improve their products is very boring and very tiring. Well, what, what was the? Sorry, go ahead. What was the best <laughs> thing you made? I mean, you can't. That can't be all bad. And he's probably. By the way, if anyone wants to make some social checks, that would also be appropriate. He's probably like, well, the most impressive thing I made. He pulls out his agent and kind of pulls something up. And uh, you see it's a, a automatic carrot peeler. And he says, I reduce the time on this to 0.3 seconds from 0.6. Uh, Amy, with that human perception, uh, it is really clear that 
he's probably been instructed by some people to never talk about the work he's done under some serious threats. He's mm-hmm. holding it down, but he's drunk yeah. and he likes you guys. So it's, oh, yeah. Okay. So I am going to touch his arm very gently and go, you're amongst friends here. And he kind of like looks, goes, oh, do you two have an open situation? And like, Serum just like, <laughs> just like, he stifles a laugh and he goes, have at it. <laughs> he goes, no, no, that would be improprietous of business partners to, well, no, 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 no. That would be uh, in... not good. Do I know if friend. Pierre has an internal agent? He does. Okay, you got his from number. one internal agent to another? Yeah. Double it up on the next one. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, it's you already just get, heavy. You get the, the thumbs up emoji from him. Uh, or just, a, you get seen, probably, is what happens. Um, yeah. And uh, this guy is like, whoa, I think I have had quite a bit. And he's looking at like a half-filled glass. He mm-hmm. goes, uh, maybe we should do some dancing. This club, the music is fantastic it's uh yeah maybe just one more <clears throat> just you know because i think it's already made oh look here it is yeah and pierre comes by and uh probably looks at the drink and goes um and probably says something in french to which the guy immediately grabs the drink grins and then downs the whole thing and then slides the cup across and grabs another cup and starts taking a drink and uh, Pierre kind of chuckles to himself, and then he uh, mm-hmm. walks back off. Um, mm-hmm. Do any of you speak French? No. No. <laughs> you know what? No I'm one's going to find out, so I'm just going to tell you what he said. <laughs> he basically said, uh, yeah, he basically says, I can't give you dessert if you don't eat your dinner. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah. And I'm uh, going to text Trixie and just say, kill me. Just kill me. Trixie's like, but why? You're in such a new blossoming relationship. I hate uh, you. <laughs> no, don't say that to her. Uh, <laughs> no, I will. I will fucking yeah. say that to her. She knows you don't I actually hate her. Of right. course you can jerk around. <laughs> no, um, yeah. And uh, Ash kind of doing this. He drinks a little bit more. He's like, so what do you all do? I know there's the bar is here, but none of you seem as if you are as workers here, uh, no offense, uh, you are very handsome, and he looks at pain, and you are very beautiful, and he looks at fucking cash, but servers, I do not think you are. What do you do? How do you know the owner of the bar? And kind of like taking another drink. We sort of uh, work for the owner. Uh, we've tried to get a lot of information. I mean, she points to this cash. Uh, she's basically a researcher. She's very good at it, too. We found oh. out a whole bunch of interesting things. And uh, we wanted to find out about something we'd heard about. A, a mythical chip that could be used to alter a personality. As soon as you say that, he goes as stiff as he can for being drunk. He's still got a little bit of, you know, sympathetic motion there. He says... Oh, I have made a great mistake, have I? No, you haven't made any mistake. And you're as safe as houses as long as you go along with what we're asking you about. And he, like, finishes his drink, sets the cup down, and goes, They will kill me. Only if they, they catch you. And they won't have to know anything came from you. All you do is sell tacos. And someone give me a uh, fast talk persuade here or an intimidate, whatever, however you want to approach it. Nice. Excellent. Says, looks at you. And he's got these bleary eyes and he goes, if I were only younger, 
Yes, we'll have to talk in in private. There's uh, very fast, too many ears. People will hear things and like yes. look at everyone else. We have just uh, the place. Yeah, where we where are you are, Jacob? Downstairs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Serum. <laughs> Serum is like, hey, buddy, let me help you walk. He's like. Yes, thank you very much, as uh, uh, Don Zbaz, Zbaz, whatever your name was. Doug. His name Doug. is Doug. Thank you, Doug. And like you know, kind of like, um, leading him along, and yeah, he, he's gonna walk this guy with you guys to the basement. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'll I'll it? take a quick check to see if um Trinix is in. Yeah, and Trinix, you would have been um. Uh, at this point, Trinix, yeah, you you probably are uh, back home at this point from work. Work was pretty uneventful. Uh, you did kind of see Rainier get pulled away for a second, and it seems like he might have gotten scolded. Doesn't seem to like uh, press him none. But yeah, you're you're probably back at the bar. Uh, Kashet, are you back at the bar? Uh, I guess. Have I just been seeing all of this fucking bullshit happening? <laughs> Well, that depends on where I you hope are. So. <laughs> it, I like to think, like, right before all of this started again, uh, Cachette had come in just looking like he'd seen, like, like he'd seen some shit. Yeah. Went up to the bar and ordered something. Probably, like, you think he's got something hard, but it's, like, a soji pop. Yeah. But... <laughs> Like, just their fucking Sleela shirt that doesn't even fit right, cargo pants, is scratching something, like, making sure that all of the, the Hebrew on his, scratched in one of his arms is there right. And yeah. all this is going on, he's just like... <laughs> and and Trinix fucking agent and texts... Serum just, de like, what the fuck, six <laughs> question marks. And then uh, Serum responds with, Cash and I are dating now. Get used to it. Um, oh, and tov. I'm Tiffany and he's Doug. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, and side gets note. gets back a Mazel tov, Doug. Yeah, <laughs> and probably at this point, um, you guys actually, uh, Trinix, you probably are dropped off at the bar. Uh Probably uh, Rainier gave you something along the lines of, hey, talk to your boss about it. Uh, I'll drop you off here. If you need a ride back home, here's like a fucking, here's a fucking beeper to get a car to come and drive you home. I've got some stuff I got to handle and I got to do some reporting. Scott? Check oh, your no, chart. No. The psychics got to him. Damn. Mm -hmm. He got killed by psychics. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. <laughs> Someone with a Mark I implant got a headache. Right. And now Scott's <laughs> dead. God. Just like that. Um, oh, there he goes. Oh. <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah, I think that. Oh, Hello. Back. If you're speaking, we cannot hear you. Maybe. Sounds like Scott's having what? some. Oh, there oh. you are. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hey. Okay. My thought process is: I walk through the front door about the time they're carting that dude off. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You walk in right as they're dragging this guy down to the basement. And one could assume your destination might also be the basement. Yeah, can we say, like, Cachette yeah. falls after him going, like, oh, someone's got to make sure they at least put paper towels under him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you following or are you doing anything else there, uh, Trenix? No, I was like, I walk in, I see it, I was like, oh, look, they made a new friend. Oh, well, <laughs> I gotta go downstairs. Yeah, <laughs> and you see that they are also going downstairs. Finally... You guys all end up downstairs for various reasons. 
Where are you taking this guy? Where are you taking her? Ask Doug. I know what room is available. I mean, there's stock rooms. Uh, let's see. I agree. Um, there's stock rooms. There is the little breaker room down here. We could put him um, in the firing range. You could put him in the firing range. Um, <laughs> it all depends on whether we want to really There's the med bay. There's him. the, you know, um, the garage. Uh, yeah. You could even put him in the server room if you wanted. Put him in the unfinished no. basement in the liminal space down there. Yeah, that area is... Um, you could. I mean, that place is basically all dirt and steel bars. Oh, I thought oh. it was going to be like the back rooms down there. Oh, no. <laughs> God, no. No, no it's just a big to... empty spot under the club. I've that been works. trying to snag that place for a while. That works with that. being we threatening without our being... Own version of afterlife down there. It works at being frightening without being directly threatening. Yeah. So, yeah, All right, so that's you... a good place. Because if he really screws up, we've got a place to bury him. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Then He's the club will be here. haunted. Under No, we have to put him in the wall along with all of our like... Yeah. Yes. Let's give him Oh, my God. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Scott, you see them dragging this guy into the unfinished room. Does Trinix follow them? Hey, I'm, I was gonna try checking yeah. to see if uh, he was in his uh, in the uh, med bay, but that means I'm hanging back behind folks, which means I get to see him. Hey, little doc, he looks around. Where's your uh, big problematic friend? Problem, Matt, dude, he's awesome. Anyways, uh, he had work to do. No, I okay. agree with lady. Dexter. Have you got a good, a nice good shot for detox? We got a very, very drunk guy in case he starts getting uh, too forgetful. I want to be able to wake him up. Uh, if I have access, I can go in the med bay and get stuff. Yeah, you have access. It's your med bay. Probably serums like, and the big... And the uh, big question mark isn't with you right now. So I close the question mark, and he's like, yeah, yeah, buddy, come on. <laughs> oh, God. As we walk by my server room, yeah. I am just going to, like, look in, give a thumbs up, and then shut the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably Crumb Kenny is like, oh, boss, thanks for the mini cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah. As she's doing that, I walk by and I give a big shit idiot grin. Oh, yeah. As absolutely. she's doing that, Cachette's behind her and goes, Why don't I ever get a mini fridge? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, mini fridges are great. You can I come killed, and use I mine. killed 32 Nazis today. Why don't I get you a mini fridge? <laughs> Probably looks and goes, My... Holy shit, that's a lot. Hey, wait, didn't you. Didn't you and Felix head out? Where the fuck's the. Where, where the fuck's Felix? Ingvars. If he's being a good mm -hmm. kitty, he's not going to be coming around to kill more Nazis. That's my job to be scarred for life. Kind of shrug. Did he, did he have fun? That's a lot of people. We got a lot to talk he about. He only there. killed one. I killed oh, 32 okay. because, you know, the big suit. It was. Right. Ask Felix. He'd probably BD'd the whole thing. All of you are always with your BDs all the time. I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, uh, I it's, it's a waste yeah. of good footage. I mean, ninety percent of it is just going to be you on the can. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Only if you're on out. the can ninety percent of your time. Hey, mm -hmm. you don't know me and my habit with French tacos. Oh my French God, is this going to be a thing? French tacos. <laughs> You know, and by the way, I heard from a very reputable source that sometimes you don't even have to be on the can. <laughs> right. What? Yeah, you could be in a hell? battlefield. Yeah. Wait, oh, yeah. you've been on battlefields all around the world. Have you ever shit yourself in a firefight? Like, not like scared. Like, I'm sorry, we'll talk about this later. And I mean, like, if you're this dude around is a like, big enough artillery what? gun when it goes off, you're gonna shit no matter what. <laughs> He's like, sometimes. Never mind. You ever been around 150. 150 millimeter cannon when it goes off the ground shakes you think you're gonna die 
Oh, it's because <laughs> it's because you're scared. Offer. Okay, I I thought you meant that the brown note is co is kaboom. No, I'm just saying that the entire ground shakes because it's so fucking big. He's like, well, well that's language. not what I'm talking about, but we'll we'll get to this a little bit later, like sort of thing. Um, he's like, well, we'll get to the bottom of this. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start a blog. I'm gonna figure this shit out. Uh, uh, like, please don't. He's say got a big fucking grin on his face. Don't say face. bottom of this when you're talking about things like this. It fits too much. Yeah, and um, God, he grins. God, you guys are a bunch of shit posters. This is great. Um, <laughs> yeah, what's, yeah, kinda, what's our fucking drunk person? That is, we're all over here. Yeah, you he's just like he's like very confused and a little concerned. He's under his breath. He's probably just saying in French. I have made a mistake. I have made a mistake. I have made a mistake. <laughs> you Maybe know what I mean? Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Just... Cause it just gives him like one of his classic. Yeah. Yeah. Waves. <laughs> that yeah. Can jerks far too much to either side. Yeah. And Trinix, you're able to get into the med bay and uh, get uh, get some uh, some good old stimulants. I got one more, bring them back. Is it three of them enough? Kinda. Uh, yeah, actually, that's a good question for you guys. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's more than enough. We don't have to do it yet. Just gotta see what he can tell us and what he can't three remember. I think three would kill him. Yeah, yeah, I didn't say do it at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's like spread over time. He's like, wait, I don't want to be poked with the things. I was... I, well then, you should probably tell us about the chip then. He's, he's like, he's like, uh, so, so the, the personality chip is, uh, there's, there's more to this personality chips than personality. There's the full sync capability, which I'm not sure why they wanted me to do that, especially because this chip started as a military chip. Uh, so maybe they were trying. I just can only hypothesize with why they was with why they were doing this. But the chip is supposed to increase baseline anabolic levels on the person who it is installed in, and also to supplant personalities and cause merging. However, the pers the chip was empty. There was no personality, and we only produce a prototype. The prototype well, someone's, work? someone's got a hold of it, and we're not sure if it worked or not. And we're trying to find it. Oh, ho, ho. you are going to be better to take the chip out dead than alive. As a matter of fact, if you kill them, the chip will most likely fry. And as they take the chip out, they will fry. And the chip probably. This is not meant for to be taken out in a non-clinical setting. What about in a clinical setting? I mean, it's, it's possible, but there is so much proprietary up and uh, op uh, tech. Op? You worked for op? Yes, I worked for uh, op. Uh, did you also yeah. work for Zenith? Oh, oh his face yeah, he goes... Did. He, he's kind of got darker skin. His face kind of goes pale, like an ashen kind of mm -hmm. color. And he's mm -hmm. like, Ah, yes, that was a friend of my employers. Yeah. Those two working together, they may have uh, made that chip better. All right. Um... Yes, I stopped working on the chip uh, when I quit. Uh, in fact, the, the chip was shelved. It wasn't even something that was going to hit market. Whoever got it out of Zenith or Up or whoever had the damn thing, they did I, very well. I, I have a question. Um, can you tell me why you left Zenith around the time the operator started to exist he went on the rampage he's like what? <laughs> i forgot oh, about right. that right yeah, yeah. No, i think he that's... goes do we need to have better incentive for him to talk i mean and i guess the incentive he was talking for him to know and he's like i don't know anything about the operator 
But the reason I left is because there was... Well, heads were rolling, and I wanted to keep mine on my neck. How so? So literally Why? rolling. Literally rolling. Apparently, someone somewhere fucked up tremendously. And whole departments exterminated, literally. The whole fucking department, the gas leak here or some shit about car accidents there, one by one. Too many coincidences. Elviva explains that these coincidences, they were actually very much coincidences. But it was very much a very, they were real coincidences. Wink. Mm. <clears throat> hmm. Did this they were having to... one of the sneaky asides. Does all of this had to do with the operator? Or with your chip? What, what is this chip? What do I mean with this chip? It's, it's a personality <laughs> yeah. chip. Personality chip? Just get your own. Yeah. I have one. I, ah. I know. This is different. He probably goes, I don't know who this operator is, but assuming that this happened around the same time it's probably because whoever was dealing with that project fucked up i don't know i don't know how much they fucked up he seemed to be pretty tough to me before somebody finally got to him great okay so what do you even know about this thing why are you trying this project was shelved two years ago two years how much work could they have done on it behind your back in two years? Those fails, just theoretically, science moves at the speed of mass and at brain waves. Maybe uh, it's hard to say just based on who and why and with what resources they were working with it. Do you think Op would have... Uh told you it was shelved and just moved it to a secret division it's like hell i don't know maybe it's a real possibility i don't very much trust them after several of my colleagues died under mysterious circumstances i mean i used to work for op counterintelligence science data interpolation nothing crisis I wasn't given red clearance or even blue clearance. I was white clearance. They gave me numbers. I told them what the numbers meant in whatever context they asked me about those numbers. But working with Op was very clearly very dangerous. Part of the reason I left is because, well, they offered me a position, uh, a fellowship between them and, and Zenith. And I thought it was great. And then crazy shit started to happen. Okay. I'll look at Cash. Got any more questions? I don't know. Let me look at my notes. Yeah. He's sitting there drunk. He probably throws up on his shoes at this point. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, um, sir. Very unbecoming. Um, what I'm do you know about... Yeah, it's in dirt. No one's got to clean it. What were you going to say mm -hmm. there, Cash? What do you know about John Baptiste? Emmanuel Zorg. Yeah. You mean the character from the old movie? Right. There's it's a, a homie movie. running around. It's a... Yeah, it's a great movie, actually. Uh... But there's there's a there's a gentleman running around, little tiny bit cringy for some reason. Your name's crossed in a way, so we were just curious what you knew about that. Probably goes like I do not. He was in uh, in contact with the prototype at some point. I I mean, the only people who would have been able to be in contact with the prototype would have been people working in the area, or someone who heisted it. And assuming that they heisted it, then it is amazing they are not flatlined. Assuming that they worked there, I can see them being less flatlined. Mm, did you ever work with him? I didn't work with a movie character, no. 
What did is this guy's with, actual? Did you work Say with what? anyone who was obsessed with the fifth element? He kind of pauses and he goes, Ah, oh, well, obsessed with the fifth element. Uh, and he kind of thinks and goes, Fell. Yes, but uh, he was part of the cleanup. He died, I thought. You thought? Maybe he just disappeared. Everyone thought he died, and he changed his face to look like a movie character. Kind of goes, mm -hmm. Well, that would be clever. Kind of goes, And it would be fitting for him to follow the fish element bad guy always talking about oh i wish i could make guns blow up for people and things like that very uh very much of a bore and uh amateurish you can do that so easily <laughs> and, always ask uh, what the yellow button does not even yeah. that you just give them an improperly sized barrel oh my god oh my god that's actually terrible that's a terrible <laughs> Oh, I want the I want this thing to shoot five five six, and I give them something for you know five five two. They go to pull no. the trigger, goes off in the barrel, gun explodes. Easy. Yeah, so easy. I'm so glad we're friends. <laughs> God, right? Um, probably be like, yeah, his name of uh, uh, Boldo Boldo Guess. Um, he's like. I think you're probably chasing a dead man, but I mean, more power to you if you want to. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm going to hit up my team on my aging. Uh-huh. And be like, I need you to look up Boldo Gas. Beautiful. Um, yeah, yeah and they'll start looking that up, of course. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think that, do you guys have any more questions for him? Because I think that it'll take time to turn up stuff on Bulbo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't have any more questions for him. I never had questions for him. <laughs> do you need what? a place to lay down? He's like, floor's fine. Don't let him fall down in his own sick. Yeah. Maybe... <laughs> what the fuck, Trinix? <laughs> Yeah, the shit does every like it. Time. It's like, every what time happened you open to the sweet mouth, kid? Oh. oh, he's never been sweet. Every time he opens his mouth, he says something worse. Phoenix, I think we need to talk about therapy. Yes. yes. What? What is that? Oh my gosh. It's this Oi. great thing that I do Theorems every like, couple of Theorems months. Serums like Tiffany, I promise. We'll try and figure it out. Our boy will be okay. Yes, Thanks, Tiffany, Doug. Doug, how could you have such a terrible son? I say as his godfather. <laughs> what the? He gives you... He immediately tries to trick me. Doug, Serum probably looks at you and goes, you'll know when you're older, Charles. So that's why I only became the god-uncle. You became the godfather. Ah, uh, now I understand. What can I say? I'm much better at any... He pops off on his head. I'm much better at giving people hands than you. I, I'm more used to taking hands than giving. Well, you want it. And I just need it back by the end of the day. I'm sorry. Well, for <laughs> once, you are the least lampshade in this situation. <laughs> it is incredible. Um, this but is yeah. Kashet's trying to fucking cope, okay? I respect yeah. it. And with all of this, uh, all of this goofy, goofy little little stuff aside, I think we are gonna call it for the night. Um, yeah, good job, everyone. Great fucking sesh. Had a good time. There was a lot of laughs here. It's a good uh, good way to come back to New Amsterdam with some positives, uh, and also some terrible carnage. Uh, <laughs> Hope it wasn't too much people. No, 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 underwear. not at all. I enjoyed it. This is this is a this is an R-rated stream. Um, did that is totally Listen, fine. I, the show Edge Runner does a does gore a lot worse. Yes, yeah, I, it does. So I'll be the first to be like, I'm a bounce and I'll be back. This was great. 
What really yep. fucked me up were the fucking fish tacos. I'm not going to lie. Like, I <laughs> don't feel good. I don't uh, like it. Geez. And I've had real fish tacos, and that was, looked disgusting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've had, had European food that looks normal. Yeah. No, yeah. Euro food is pretty rough. But you can the case worse. Mm, yes, oh, gravy God. and cold bean or cold peas. No. Ah, uh, yes, right. no. a Philly cheesesteak with baked beans and corn. Oh, I mean, that doesn't Christ. sound terrible. I mean, That's it probably is. Scottish you, you monster. Crime uh, against gastronomy. God. Listen, That's good. when I'm, I'm going to keep crime against anything. gastronomy. Uh, yeah. If I, if I am allowed to steal that from you oh, at some right point. Go right ahead. Okay. Good, good. All right, so let's get some sign-offs. Let's start with Trinix, the person who has had probably the most significant plot development happen. <laughs> yeah. I'm Scott. I played Trinix. Who has to find some dude? Which I can't remember his name. I'll figure it out later. Yeah. But I gotta find him. <laughs> well, the thing is, I don't think I actually ever gave you his name. I'm pretty sure he just came in, did his thing, and then left. Yeah. I don't know. I could yeah. find that episode and watch it later this week. Yes, I please do. do. If I did give him a name, please correct me. That's not that's definitely not me saying no. Like <laughs> Yeah. I'll look for it and see later. I don't do anything for my life but work and sit at home and Vibes. Watch Doctor Who. Um Okay. <laughs> what else am I in? Today's Thursday. And then one Saturday, I don't know. We got After the Bump, where I'm in that. This and week then we got... Do what? This weekend. So it is After the Bump. I did tell yes. my son right then. Cool. So then, a week from Sunday, we got the Gloomfall thing, which I'm in. Um, and then Monday is... Something shard burst, something funky number. 1385. Me too, Scott. Me too, guys. Scott. Just get on my level, <laughs> which is eight. Still telling you, <laughs> me too. I'm in the same boat. I don't. I. That one was interesting, I guess. It's kind of hard not to do it with Team Four Arms, but hey, we made it through. Hey, and we're going to be back. It's going to be Team yes. Four Arms again, baby. Now yeah, with better won. gear. I think at this moment, that's it. We got All other right. things working. Hell We're yeah. Other things. That's it. Hell yeah. Um, excellent. Next, let's do... How about Computer King? I'm just going by Rome. <laughs> Greetings, I'm the Computer King, retired supervillain. And yeah, I started a whole weird thing about talking with the, uh, the fish truck guy. The Sorry, the taco truck guy, although... I wouldn't call them tacos. No. <laughs> and I turned and I turned that into an adventure in drunkenness. Uh, <laughs> that was fun. Uh, tomorrow it's going to be Lancers, right, Rowan? Yeah. Where I'm John Zulu, aka Howler, who has to go back into Jeffrey's tube in order to to face the music, and hopefully the music won't kill him. Uh, and on Monday oh wait every other <laughs> Friday I'm in uh, the Immortal War where I play a very sneaky uh, Lily Clan member and uh, there was a table that exploded now I have to frame uh, a random thief it's not exactly a framing if you're fr if they're already guilty of something right I hate don't that. answer Think that about it don't answer yes. that. <laughs> and on Mondays, I'm in the shard of the Shrike, Shrike verse 1387, 1492. I don't, I don't remember what number ever either. Literally 1984. Uh, 1984, yes. Shard verse 69420. <laughs> 24601. Yes. Uh, <laughs> shard verse 8675309. PHX 1138. 902107. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> I'm, and I play Lollipop, who looks like a giant brain with a spindly body. And uh, I missed last session, but this coming session, I'll, I should be there. And it'll be fun, because... I'm a mechanic, and I'm a mystic, and I'm slightly a techomancer, because I follow a, a god that's made out of three beings. Yes, it's weird. I'm three weird. Three beans. He's three I'm... bean salad, the god. <laughs> Basically. I love it. <laughs> and I'm done. Who's next? All right. Let's go to Amy next. Oh, Hello, uh, I'm Amy Geddon. Today I played Cash playing Tiffany. Yeah, that's her <laughs> name. This was incredible. This is, I'm so glad we're back. I love this so much. This makes me so happy. Mira, I love you so much. Uh, okay, so uh, now I know that Tiffany's in a relationship with Doug and they currently have a son named George and their god, George's godfather is Cachette. Did Cachette have a different name or you just didn't give one? No, no one asked the for godfather. it. Yeah. So we're just nameless godfather. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my god. We need we're to writing a family up. drama in cyberpunk. This is incredible. Oh my god. So uh, yeah, this is always fun. I love this so much. Um, every other Friday, I'm in the Immortal War. Not this week. It'll be next week. And uh, coming back around the week, Mondays will be in a thing, but that's not happening yet. It's not here. It's, don't know why I mentioned. I think it's just to skip the day. Uh, every other Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, we're going to be having uh, nobility and notoriety. It is part two of part five, and I run it. And and it's very simple. It's just a fay wedding. Nothing is going wrong. Nothing is nefarious. Everything is wonderful. We're just happy you're here. Of course. Um. Nothing There's nefarious just... is going on. Nothing. No. If there is no war in, what is it? Bossing say. Bossing say. Bossing say. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, let's see. Then in Wednesdays, I'm in Over the Horizon. And that's that's it for me right now. Well, actually, if you guys want stickers, you should visit hypegraphics.co. That's my print shop. It's CO without the M because the M is really fucking expensive. That's me. All right, next let's go Brian. I'm Brian, I played Connor tonight, the silent one, because, well, he, this is mainly pain dexters. Okay, I'm just long for a ride in the cash. <laughs> you know, spoken like a true mercenary. Mm. Um, yes, you can find me on Saturday running after the bomb. It'll be this Saturday. It'll pick up where we left off and. Hopefully someone can remember, because at the moment I can't, but we'll figure it out. But, you know, World War Three, yeah, you could do anything. Um, every other Sunday, next Sunday, we'll be returning back to Gloomfall. I'm so fucking hyped. <laughs> the only sad thing is that we will not have a marshal. Mm. He has now been relegated to NPC status. Unfortunate. But, you know, yeah. life comes first. That comes, gaming comes second. Um, and then occasionally on the every other Friday when the Immortal War is on, I'll show up, throw a monkey wrench in everybody's plans because hey, I'm you, the magistrate you, to the Shogun. You sped run like 10 weeks worth of content, and that just means we get closer to Pathfinder 2 stuff. And there you know, you honestly... You didn't do anything wrong. It was all Computer King and his big fucking mouth. That's what Hey, not my, that's not my fault. My character listen. didn't know that the guy was uh, actually important and should be kept quiet. Computer King, <laughs> everyone always blames shit on your character. That's, it's pretty funny. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's fun. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for me. All right. Excellent. Next, let's do uh, good old Nightheart. Hey, I finally got my ass key to work. Wow, your ass key. What about your uh, hand <laughs> key? Hi, ho, friend. My name is Roman, otherwise known as Nightheart. Cut me here today playing Cachette, who was just trying to like act like a normal person again because his unflappable happy boy attitude is just for the fact that 
All I do is make machines of war and death. All I am is a killer at the end of the day. Do not be like me. Save your soul. Also, pet the cat boy. Um, yes. You can also find me here tomorrow where I will be running Yaksha's where there's some Lancer stuff. And boy, Frank is going to wake up from his fucking cancer coma and be like, Oh, God, every time I go to sleep, you people fuck something up even worse. I mean, God. Uh, and also, Mirror's characters in every other Friday in the Immortal War is going to have uh, two people run up and be like, Hey, so the magistrate thinks that you're a thief, not that you're the other thing. Uh, but it's okay because our good friend Fucro just threw a bomb in the room and now they think that there's like an assassination plot. Listen, we're all very fucked up. We are all very non-credible and incompetent, but also credible in all the worst ways. And you can also find me here on Mondays in Shrike Shard Verse Verse 13, 1984, where uh, we found out that there was a fucking piece of the star stone down here that the bugs wanted. That's all we would need is for one Say of the what? bugs. what? Yeah, the the star stone, like the thing that uh, if you conquer its challenge, you become a god in Pathfinder. Okay. Yeah, that was down there. The bugs were after it. Um, and we all got that's like an eight. issue. That's like a very big issue. It's like an us issue it, too. Is the it... worst part is it's an us problem. Isn't there already a bug a bug god? Yeah, that's all we need is more of them. Oh god, that's how you get ant gods. Yeah, this is how you get ant gods. You want ant gods? This is how you get ant gods, goat people. <laughs> uh, hey, also, I love the Caprani. You can also find me here on Wednesday in Over the Horizon, where we're going to have to deal with fucking Bob in another game. Trust me, he's different this time. He's not that Bob. He's not. Whatever. He's not different. It's, it's the same it's fucking Bob. Bob. Okay, okay, I am going to give you one thing, and that is, as someone who shares this world with Gunner, I made him promise me <laughs> that Bob would not be a paracausal, supernatural, hyper-powerful entity. So I can okay. give you that assurance so long as he isn't lying to me. <laughs> okay. There once was a dwarf what name Bob. Well, here's the thing, Mira. He's going to come to you after the end of one of these sessions and just go, So, no. I haven't been entirely yeah. honest with you. <laughs> that is, I love how Gunner has gotten you so paranoid at this point with Bob shit that, like, it is a violent reaction that bleeds into real life. That makes me yep. happy. All he has to do I'm is, proud. So, uh, and we're did all you... done. <laughs> Did you read the threads in the fucking Discord? Like, no. I just, I have just done nothing but been like, God damn it! <laughs> I'm just so Hold mad. on. Well, that is exactly the reaction he wanted. So you are feeding him. Uh, let's see here. You're feeding the troll. Uh, and that wraps back around here to those. That's my very long thing that was fucking co-opted by Bob. Out of the uh, way. All right. And that just leaves me. And before I get started. I have two things. One, give yourself 10 XP, 2 IP, or 10 IP, 10, 10 IP. There we go. I was 10 about to say, IP. Did you take that back? Yeah, hold on, I, hold on. There was a thing I wanted to do before we left the end of the game. Very inconsequential. I actually sent you a message about I it. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, can I? Can we do it? Right now? Not on the stream. Moment. Okay. Um... It doesn't so, even, I don't even have to be there. Yeah, no. So, Cachette, whenever you go to your room, you see in the morning there is a delivery for you. And the delivery is a mini fridge microwave combo. And it says, Congratulations on your winning streak. <laughs> Dude, guys, I got the nuke. The nuke is only 25. Um, but yeah, so uh, otherwise, I have an announcement. So, as is sort of somewhat kind of sort of tradition, I run a Halloween game. I've run like three of them at this point. And I still need to talk to Chris. Either this game is going to be on Halloween or the day after, depending on whose toes I may or may not step on. But allow me to give you a little bit of a blurb to get you hyped up get some people interested in this one shot 
dude, are you sure we can fucking trust this guy? Yeah, man, I went to high school with him. He's fine. Yeah, you went to high school with a lot of fucking people. That doesn't mean he's fine. No, I, okay, listen. He was that guy, like, people didn't really treat super well, and, like, we're, 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 I'm not trying to fucking make amends. I was kind of a dick, too. It's like, you were kind of a dick to him? And we're going to smoke weed at his house. We're going to do drugs in a person's house who you were a dick with. Dude, okay, where the fuck are you on Halloween night going to pick up drugs? I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bar and get my fucking drink spiked. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's a sure thing. It's fine. Okay, man. What the fuck you say? Whatever you say. It's fine. Wait, you saying he lives there? Yeah, it looks a little sketch, but what about it? Dude, are we really doing drugs in a fucking haunted house? I guess we're doing drugs in a fucking haunted house. What the fuck do you want me to say? Coming this Halloween, we are going to have a fun, psychedelic, totally terrifying Halloween experience in Call of Cthulhu 7th edition. Stay tuned either October 31st or December 1st, because you can never get enough Halloween. Um, November 1st. November 1st. My bad. I am stupid. October um, 32nd. October 32nd. Um, anyway, with all that being said, hello everybody. My name is Mira, also known as Mira Shade J, uh, Mira Shade Games, or Mira Shades GM. Uh, today you caught me running New Amsterdam. I am back in the saddle, and I'm feeling good about it. Uh, we've got some great sessions coming up that we've done some planning with. I've worked with a lot of my players, so I would love if you guys stop by and come and check them out because we're gonna have some big moves happening. Big moves. Um, aside from that, we've also got. Uh, you can catch me in uh, After the Bomb. Uh, as Adam McCarthy, much to the chagrin of my own name. Uh, you can catch me in Gloomfall as Madam Yinvrath, uh, the fucking batshit crazy person. Uh, you can catch me in uh, Shard, uh, Shard vs. P. Sherman 42 Wall of UA Sydney, where I am <laughs> playing, uh, where I am playing, I'm proud of that one, where I am playing a show bod who is a uh, real bod, you know what I mean? And he's got a hot bod, and he's real big, and he'll fuck some shit up. Uh, and then you can also catch me this coming Tuesday, right? This coming Tuesday? Yes. In, yes. um, in, uh, Magical Society, what was it called? Uh, I'm sorry? No Nobility and Notoriety. Nobility and Notoriety. Apologies. There is a book that I've been reading for my own campaign called A Magical Society, uh, and it has a lot of trade prices, so, uh, we'll be. Um, let's see. And then, yeah, other than that, um, if you are currently watching on Twitch, we love you so much, but hey, what are you doing? You could be watching us again and again and again and again on youtube.com for Trust Paradise Theater. You could catch us if you're watching us on YouTube live at uh, twitch.tv forward slash pair underscore o underscore dice underscore theater. And you can also catch us on Twitter at pair theater. Check out the Discord link on all three of those things to join our community. We love you and we want to see you and have you talk to us on a regular basis. So please do so. Thank you. Other than that, that is going to be it for me, and let's get a big old Nazdravia and get the hell out of here. Nazdravia.